Hello. Good afternoon. How are you? VOD channel viewers? I've missed you. Although I think this is going to be the third VOD upload with, you know, two days or a day off in between each one, which is usually the cadence I ideally like to go for. But I think this is going to be the last day of doing user submitted, or at least this round of user submitted quests. Should be fun. We'll see. There is one thing I probably should have prepared, though, before this stream. Damn, and it just hit me now. I should have made it. We're going to need a tier list. How was everybody? Good afternoon. Good to see you. I, I, I cut my finger on the back of my green screen today. So I'm injured. I'm dealing with a nerf. Thank you, kind sir. Howdy. Napeta! Thank you very much for the tier one. <laughs> we are, yeah, we'll be we'll be tier listing the Thank Skyrim you, jails sir. today as a part of this quest. But I'll give it a little bit, and then we'll go through the background of this quest just a little bit. Cyclops, this is your first time watching a stream? Well, this is my first time saying hello to you in a stream. Isn't it funny how that all worked? You had to stop sharpening your sword for this? No, go back to sharpening your sword. Finish sharpening the sword, okay? If you want to be big and strong when you grow up, you need to finish sharpening the sword. Do your chores. Thank you, kind <clears throat> sir. Question Zen? Uh, yes, Emily. <laughs> yes. That's the plan, Emily. It's always the plan, because I'm a degenerate addict. Yesterday's stream was a lot of fun. We kept it fairly short, but I did have a ton of fun with it. Very much enjoyed it. You just watched Fellowship of the Ring for the first time? I know that my grandfather um, fell asleep when he went to go see that movie with my brother and a few other cousins way back in the day. Been watching the VOD channel for months. Finally thank caught a stream. Kimmy, thank you very much for watching. Party face. Woo, I made a stream. I'm a huge VOD watcher. Look at all, look at the VOD channel viewers. You know, eventually, you will all be on the VOD channel. How cool is that? Wow. Also today, this is a big day. This is a special stream. It's been a while since I've had these on stream, but I am wearing, how do I thank you, do this? Sir. I don't think I can stand on my chair, but Jew, baby, Jew, I don't know if you can dance. hear him. I got, I am going to stand on my chair. Fuck it. I got my magic pants today. I have my magic enchanted pants on today. I haven't worn the, I have not worn the enchanted pants in a while, but I saw them. God, these are so comfortable. I got to watch. I got to wear these more. They kind of look a little like, like you could almost get away wearing these pants with a sport coat. So I don't know if they're like my favorite pants to wear all the time, but man, these are, they're just like, I don't know what it is. It's like they're painted on, but I have room. Anyway, let's get into today's quest. First quest of the day. I barely touched on it at the end of yesterday's stream. But let's just do, let's just do some recapping, some background. All right. So this was written by Chandgrit. Again, thank you to everybody who did suggest ideas on that community post. Blown away at all the responses. You guys absolutely killed it. So thank you all. So the original prompt. The Thieves Guild wants someone to write a book of nothing but reviews for Skyrim's jails to know which is the best to stay in if you get caught. Your quest is to get thrown in every jail, break out, and collect at least three souvenirs of each to prove you've really learned to appreciate the atmosphere. And if your souvenirs get taken for evidence, reclaim them so you have all of them before you start writing your magnum opus. However, you also have to write the book, which will require a quill, inkwell, and paper. Ulfer's book from White River, White River Watch, that's kind of tough to say, say that five times fast, seems like the best paper for the job so i had to i guess collect some objectives or come up with some objectives that make this a doable quest in game so the objectives are to obtain ulfer's blank book 
a quill, and an inkwell. That shouldn't be too hard. I feel like we'll find those fairly quickly. And then our next objective is to get thrown into every single jail in Skyrim. Again, we're, we'll be getting thrown into jail for crimes not connected to all of the parents that we murdered of the children because we did not get caught for that because we're a smart criminal. Every time we get captured and we go to jail, we have to obtain three souvenirs as proof of our visit. We should take notes on each jail as we go through them. Thank and then at the end of going to every single jail... So happy I was able to catch another stream. Party face doesn't happen often. He is to four months. Party face. Party face, you party face. You interrupted me with the party face. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Who was that? Rainbird, thank you for four months. And then at the end of the experience, after we go to every single jail, we will tier list them based on the experience that we had at the jail. And then our tier list will count as us writing our book. I guess that's what we'll go with. Narwhal, don't let you down? Oh, don't worry. I'll try and let you down, Narwhal. Did I miss? I didn't miss any alerts. Oh, Koopaling, I did miss yours. Thank you very much. And congratulations on your stream, baby. Thank you, kind sir. Hail Sithis Nine as months. well. Thank you for the tier one. I believe I missed that one as well. Sorry about that. And no ducks are here. Thank you very much for nine months. Another Twitch baby. Will this still be Ty Pennington? Yes, this all follows the ridiculous storyline of Ty Pennington. I don't know if this is like a an anthology of Ty Pennington's life. Or if it's a, I'm kind of in the way. All right, anyway, here are all the prisons. Dawnstar, Falkreath, Markarth, Morthal, Riften, Solitude, Whiterun, Windhelm, Winterhold, Ravenrock. Those are all the prisons. I think there's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we got to go to jail 10 times. All right. First thing we have to do, though, is obtain a quill and pen by going to Ulfir. Children, you're on your own. Your father is going on an important quest. And, uh... Canood, you're in charge. I don't know why I'm leaving him in charge. He just seems like he might know what's going on. Also, giant centipede thing that spits goo. You're in charge of babysitting. You're like the second layer of babysit. Canood is babysitting Braith, but then the giant magical centipede is babysitting both of them. Am I ever going to do a Markarth? Yes, I'm, we're, we're going to eventually do a Markarth region lock. When? I don't know. Someday. Eventually. At some point. I don't really need to go to Morthal, do I? I can actually fast travel on this character. I'm so not used to having this ability. But I think the book we want to get from Ulfur is over here. Right? Isn't he the blind guy? He's sitting at a desk. We just have to go right across the uh, little canyon here. Yeah, it's west of Whiterun. East of Whiterun? No way. No. Sorry. I'm ego checking you right now, chat. It's west. 100%. The guy who's sitting there in the desk with the book that's blank, it's west of Whiterun. At the mountain, I, I think you guys are just wrong. No, I'm 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 challenging you right now. That you had one v one me. If I'm wrong, so be it. But I'm sticking to it. There's no way it's east. It's right here. It's gonna be one of these caves right up here. Hold Thank on one sec. The stream did Long drop frames. From. Should be okay. Looks like it's not dropping too many frames. 
We outnumber you. We will reinstate hacker as super. No, no, no. Thank you, kind There's sir. no way. It's east. My brain just doesn't accept that information. You guys are putting me through severe cognitive dissonance. Also, Andy, thank you very much for the prime. Nerfs, thank you so much for the tier one, even though you're wrong. And I will, I'm gonna prove it. Who are you? Farmer? Farmer. I gotta go to jail, right? I have to commit crimes. If, if our goal is to go to jail, we should commit crimes along the way. East? I think you're, I think Chad is lying to me. I think Chad is purposefully trying to get me to go to the wrong direction so that I do go east. And then I get frustrated. Redoran's Retreat. Okay, it's it's a different name. But I'm just going to check the front door. Okay, it's not this one, but there's going to be another one nearby. Definitely not that one. It's east. No, see, that's Valheim Towers. Fun fact, those towers were named after the fun open world Viking survival crafting sim Valheim. Right across from Haunting Brew Meadery. I just, I don't believe you. I'm sorry, but I am supremely confident that the cave that I'm looking for is gonna be somewhere over here or somewhere down here. Actually, I'm thinking it might be south. I think it might be this way. I'm getting old, I have memory loss. Maybe, maybe I am. But I'm checking. Yeah, yeah, just let me cook. I know what I'm doing here. I mean, it's possible I'm going the wrong way, but I believe that I'm not. Oh, no bolts equipped. That's good. Oh, and I, oh, I only have a woodcutter's axe. Okay, that's bad. We have highborn. Oh my god, my abilities suck. My hands glitched. I keep forgetting we're playing on very easy. We're not we're not playing on too difficult uh, a setting. Although none of these challenges are really combat like they don't really revolve around the combat of the game. So I guess it doesn't matter too much. Can you play Skyrim while not knowing where you're going? That's just playing Skyrim normally. Yes, 100%. It's right out here. White River Watch might be somewhere else, but Ulfur, the guy who has the empty book, is not wet or is not east of Whiterun. I will be so unbelievably shocked if that's true. But when I round this corner, and the entrance to a cave appears, and there's one bandit standing out front, possibly two, named, carrying a book with reference to the blind guy sitting within the cave, just past the entrance, you're all gonna be like, wow, maybe we should have listened to him. He's not perfect and doesn't understand absolutely everything about these games, but every now and then, wow, he might know what's going on. And then you'll be shocked, and it'll be the greatest upset you've ever seen. Okay, it's not this far though. It's not this one, but I'm gonna discover it just to say I did. Yeah, this is uh, not Pale Pass. Um, oh, what's the name? What's the name? It goes through the mountain. North Brittleshin. I knew that. Oh, why are these idiots attacking? <laughs> Get away from me. Oh no, I've been jumped by Creation Club content. Evacuate the area.
The weapons are kind of cool. I might take that little club. I forgot I gave my son my glass dagger so he can defend the house. Ooh, golden hands? I guess I'll just eat the strange food. Okay, I want to give myself golden hands just because it'll look cool. It does, in fact, look really cool. And even cooler when I execute them. You guys are going to be you, you guys are going to feel so dumb when I'm right. Found it. Found it. Count your blessings, chat, because after I'm correct and we find the book we're looking for in here, you will feel awfully silly. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps you should have came to this battle prepared. Oh, what am I kidding? Of course you didn't. You were never prepared to face me in a battle of knowledge. Okay, this is Broken Fang Cave. N not exactly the one I was looking for. Doesn't count. You forget, I'm in charge here, so I get as many tries as I want. 100 gifted if right. Okay, well now, now I'm determined. <laughs> this is gonna happen. Like, I'm, I'm just casually playing Skyrim normally on the way there because I'm that confident. I think this one might be it. I don't want to get too confident though because Broken Fang Cave, that was a little bit of a setback. Oh, oh. There's a, there's someone out front. Swindler's Den. It might not be White River Watch, but when I go in here. Shit, is this the one? Is this the right one? I'm not sure if this is the right one anymore. Fuck. Okay, this is also the wrong one, don't worry. This is just character development for Ty Pennington. This is in fact not the one. That doesn't count. It's literally east of Honing Brew. It's literally west of White Run. And I will comb up and down this entire fucking province just to find the guy with the book, the blank book. Oh, shit. I think I came too far. There's no way it's east of Whiterun. It's really not Redoron's retreat? not yeah because I've been in this cave a bunch of times not silent moons not bleak one basin not dustman's cairn not the cottage swindler's den broken fang we already checked that one no Oh my god. 
Oh my god, it is that one. Why was I... I could have sworn this cave has always been where Redoron's retreat was. Every time. Every single time. Unless the world randomizer has completely destroyed my brain and how I think about this game and how I just remember things. All right, chat. I owe you all an apology. I owe you in chat and those on the VOD channel currently cringing at my refusal to listen to anybody in chat. I apologize. This has been the biggest setback to my career. To just me as a person, I, I, I'm going to, you know, probably take some time to disconnect from the Internet and, and all of that nonsense and, and really figure myself out and, and improve and take some time to listen and, and hear what others are saying. Because the impact that my choices have on the shut up, fuck off, chat. You think I no. All right, yeah, you, you were right about one thing, okay? Okay, oh, you won one bet. Don't get too goddamn, don't, you don't, no, 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 no. Don't get all excited. Sitting there, pog champing, and whatever you do. Now ain't this a surprise. Hey, <laughs> all right, I need to take out my anger of that loss. I need your brother. Stop it. I need your brother's book. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Close Thank shave. Kind, sir. This interaction was sponsored by Manscaped. Rendrag, thank you so much for the tier one. Yeah, if it makes you all feel any better, at least I'm going to jail after this mission. Uh, I can't believe I was wrong, though. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating it is. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerobar. Borzoi, thank you very much. You are incredibly kind, graceful, and I am grateful. Thank you for five. Tier ones. Danielson, I'm funny? <clears throat> oh my god, I can't believe it's this fucking cave! Sorry. Hey, who's there? Rodolf? Is that you? No, it's uh, Ty Pennington, host of Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Actually, you kind of fit the bill for somebody that we would build a house for. Boss was looking for you, said he'd be up at the summit. Not keep him waiting. Okay, bring the camera crew in. Everybody, zoom in on his face. Zoom, zoom, enhance. Perfect. I'm gonna take this book so I can write my memoir with it. Is it worse if he lives and we leave him, or if we kill? I guess if I leave his friends in the cave alive, then it's all good. But we're taking his book. We're taking the only enjoyment he has in life away from him. Even Ulfur could have probably found this cave first try. Hmm. Ban. You need me to mention in the video of these challenges that you were wrong and we were right. Haven't you guys noticed by now that I edit my videos in a way to where I'm never wrong? I take knowledge from chat. I take credit for it. And I... <laughs> I, uh, maybe we have a we have a good relationship okay it's a give and take it's a give and take relationship chat like how i stole your jokes i haven't even stolen that many jokes from chat i have before but chat's funny let's sate that appetite hmm yeah she's gonna sell a Inkwell and pen. Absolutely what we need. I need to get it from Bellathor, probably. Got something for just about everybody in here. 
You edit your videos? I do. I edit them and I write them. Every trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Inkwell. Who doesn't sell an inkwell? Do come back. Okay. I guess I have to find one. Perhaps someone in Dragon's Reach? They seem like an inkwell and quill type of people. Crazy Khajiit lady. Thank you very much for two tier one gifted subs. I appreciate you. I wish my videos appeared on my doorstep fully edited. That would be great. Then I'd be able to dedicate all my time to my second job, Deep Rock Galactic. Okay, there's got to be something down here. The Jarl's quarters, maybe in here. Sven or Feindal, who's better? Uh, I've been warming up to Sven, all because as soon as I get into Riverwood, that douchebag Feindal, did I hear you talking to Sven? <laughs> Believe me, you literally don't want to be talking to him. <laughs> um, were you just having a conversation with Sven? Everybody knows he's a douchebag. I mean, God. Did you hear what he said about the Yarl? I mean, behind his back and the audacity of him. I mean, it literally, I just don't understand why Sven has to be like this. Like that's the first thing Feindel hits you with when you get into town. He's so annoying. Like, yeah, maybe of the two, he might be in the right a little bit more than Sven, but his methods are just frustrating. Like, why do you have to go mean girls? No. Oh my god, I'm, I might really. Hey, 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 hey! Okay, well, you I mean you could tell your your fellow officer to have a little bit of restraint. I don't necessarily have the items that I need to write my book, but I guess we can start here. Take me to jail. But Sven is a jerk. Okay, yeah, he's a jerk. So is Feindal. Yeah, like. Vandal is totally happy to just lie to Camilla's face too. All right, let's take a let's take a back seat and kind of just look at our amenities here. Cot bed, that's not bad. It does come with a little bit of a down comforter. I think that's pure wolf skin. It looks like snow wolf, so a little bit better than just regular wolf skin. Uh, there's a dead body in here with a knife. I'm not sure if that was owned by the bandit or not, but I was sitting here with clothes. Why is he naked? Something must have transpired where a second person was in the cell. They stripped the bandit naked and then they left him there. Unless the bandit took all of his clothes off and then slid them through the loose grate. So what I will say about this jail is that a uh, very big positive in terms of the White Run jail. It has a really easy escape route. I mean, it's built in. Why would they build this in here? Uh, this is just really bad prison design. <laughs> a really stupid design for this prison. But it shouldn't be too hard. I mean, at least it gives us a way to get out of here, right? Let's see. Out. I mean, lighting in the hallways is decent, but this place is manned like crazy. There's a lot of guards in here, almost an impossible straight escape route if you go right through. But the built in convenience exit for thieves, I think is a great addition. I think that really elevates it and brings it up because when you're escaping prison, you know, you're going through the oh, I guess. OK, I guess two. OK, two for one. We both can escape when you're going through the grimy undercroft of a jail after you've escaped, you know, Grabbing torch sconces. I think that that's a plus. It also even gives you a few items that are useful right away. I've really got no problems with White Run Jail so far. So let me actually real quick. Let me bring up our handy dandy PowerPoint slides. 
because on here I can take notes. Where's White Run? White Run's right here. Okay, so next to White Run, I will say uh, convenient escape, good lighting, questionable ethics. Convenient escape, good lighting, questionable ethics. I think that summarizes a little bit of what we get from the White Run Jail. Skyrim Jail tier list when? After we go to jail in every single one. Oh, yeah, that's right. How do you go to the bathroom in these jails? This one? The answer is already clear. I'm in a really nice escape route. Really feels like I'm in the Undercroft and the grime as I escape from jail. An expert lock is thrown in our way. That's challenging, especially on one lock pick. But at least they leave us some cabbage. It's crucial to get your escape lettuce before leaving jail. Oh, that's right. I have to grab some souvenirs. What souvenirs can I grab that are a basket, <laughs> right? I have the torches. I'll grab a basket. Can I take any? Oh, I should have grabbed that fork. Can I still grab it? Can I like jump and have the gate? <gasps> oh my God, you can. You can even return back to your cell. <laughs> you can go back in. All right, we're taking the knife here. That's our first one. That's so fun. Okay, this jail even comes with a mini game. It's called uh, Uppies. You gotta time it just right. And then you can get your Uppies. Boom. Nice and easy, no one saw a thing. The guards might get a little bit suspicious if I have a torch in here. Can I get all the way to the outside world and then break back into my cell? Maybe we can take some skeever tail out of here with us. Yeah, a nice little skeever tail. That'll be a good little remember remembrance of our journey. Did I grab the fork? I grabbed the knife. I didn't see a fork up there. Still have to get out of here. And it's an expert lock. Come on. No, this way. No, God damn it. <sighs> Fuck. Sorry. My emotions got the best of me there. Damn it, do I really have to go get uppies and go back to jail? Just to then go back to jail again? Well, no, this, I guess this, oh, I, we have to take the alternate route. Oh my gosh, my belongings are here too. I need to find another lockpick and get back here as soon as I can. That's really cool. It even has quick access to your belongings. I am, I'm gonna, oh crap. Crap. Oh, the exit is the guard barracks? I don't know why I forgot that, but that sounds really dangerous. Okay, looks kind of clear. For everything that this jail hands you when you're trying to escape, it locks away an easy exit right at the end. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's really easy up until you get here into the guard barracks, but there's only one guard. So I wonder if I could... Okay, where can I get a lockpick really quickly? Turn back around. You saw nothing. You shall say nothing. I should just hit the door as fast as I can. Okay, we're in town. Why didn't they care? What's going on? Am I free? What the fuck? I spent 
Okay, we have to break into jail. I'll get a lockpick real quick. Why did they leave me alone? How did I get away with that? I think that bumps up White Run, in my opinion. You have one. You have one lockpick. Thank you, Adrian. Useless. Well met, traveler who strangely looks like they just escaped from prison. The gold that we found in jail already paying off dividends. Drowned Gamer, how are you? Thank you for stopping by the stream. We're currently in the middle of tier listing every single jail in Skyrim. Your stuff will despawn if you take too long. Oh yeah, that's why I'm I'm running back real quick. All right, now we'll go back in. Run around up the stairs. Hopefully not get caught by these bozos. Awesome. <laughs> Scott free. What is my bounty? Is that why they're not mad at me? Okay, my my white run bounty is 105. What did I even do to get thrown in jail? Excuse me, officer. Nope, good to see you. You do not know me. Well, I mean, you know me because of my... The insufferable waiting. They only recognize me because of my previous appearances on the popular ABC show, Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Dan Olsen, I'm doing well. I'm excited to be getting this challenge out of the way. Okay, so White Run. Let's talk about the White Run Jail. We got our souvenirs. I don't really even remember what our souvenirs were. To be honest, a little bit underwhelmed with our souvenirs, how they how they came to be. But I would say for I'm just going to make an entire new slide right under this one and call it White Run Jail. All right, so White Run Jail. That looks a bit better. White Run Jail. We have uh, standard prison design. Nothing, nothing really stands out about it in terms of, you know, being there. It feels like jail. It looks like jail. Um, big time positive, though. We have the ease of access escape route. That's a huge plus. I think that elevates it. Maybe we'll have to look at the other jails to sort of compare them into a real tier list. We've got the ease of access escape route. We've got questionable ethics, dead, naked prisoner. Why are they in there? What's the story behind that? How did this prisoner end up both dead and naked at the same time? Uh, I'm going to say, you know, lame... Souvenirs. That's the word I'm looking for. Lame suit. The souvenirs were lame. I, I got what? A lantern? A fork? A little bit of gold? Nothing too crazy. Um, but I will say, uh, good undercroft. The sort of sewer escape route. Sewer escape. It's classic Elder Scrolls kind of you know, running through a tiny little dungeon to escape jail. But I have to say, big negative, unfortunate, exit space. The actual space where you exit is just right in the guard barracks. That's not ideal. That's bad. But at least it does put you in a decent position, position to just run straight through it. So I'll say overall... What I'm thinking right now, if I'm going to like give it a grade, if I'm going to score it out of 10, the jail itself.
I would say the design of it and the look of it really takes it down for me. It's too basic. The first time you find that little escape hole is f fun. It is incredibly stupid that a jail cell would just have a hole in the ground like that that could easily escape. What the hell were the city planners thinking? So I'm going to give the White Run Jail an overall score. I'm, I'm going to give it a 5.7. 5.7. Fairly average. I think slightly above average because it has the escape route. I think that brings it up just a tad. And you know what? Actually, hold on. No, I'm going to raise the score just a bit. There's one point I'd left out. I'm going 6.1. 6.1. And I'm going at 6-1 because of easy to access uh, evidence chest. The evidence chest was pretty easy to get. So I'm going to raise it to 6-1. Whose perspective are you rating from? I think all of them. I don't know. <laughs> I think all of them. That's just how we'll rate them. We're just we're just doing it for fun anyway. Whatever's the most fun is what we'll go with. So I'm going 6-1. Let's get a new slide. Next up on the list, Solitude Jail. Let's do Solitude next. Accidentally covered up chat, so I can't see you. Be a good travel writer and list the souvenirs. Ah, you're right. You're actually so right. Okay, so the souvenirs that we took from White Run Jail. Souvenirs. Skeever Tail. I'm just going to write this down without switching over. Skeever Tail. Knife. Lantern. All right, now we got to get thrown in jail in solitude. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. If I get bored, I'm probably just going to punch you in the face, and that'll get me sent to jail really quickly. What's a fun way we can break the law here? Lucky we can't really interrupt the execution anymore, so sadly we can't do that. Lost chat again. Look at me go. I'm a professional. Punch the Jarl in the face. Is this really the Jarl we want to punch in the face? Hello, I'm Gizli. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's one way to just get thrown into jail. Sure, I like it. I like your style, Chet. You're right to the point. I want to get thrown to jail. I'm running directly to the castle, and I'm going to throw a right hook at the Jarl's face. Super easy. Fame Bryling, at your service. Punch the vampire instead, not Elisif. Punch the pretty lady. You guys are all mixed. Mixed signals. I got mixed signals earlier from you, chat, when it came to the blank book we were trying to find. I'm getting mixed signals now. Hold on. While we're here, while we're here, we could try to find an inkwell and a pen. It might be easy to find. I feel like the castle would be a place for that to, you know, end up. Oh, hello. Just tidying up. Folks at court won't admit it, but Sabil Stentor scares us all to death. Use the Wabajack? I don't want to go through the whole quest to get the Wabajack right now. This hardly seems fair. Excuse me. Sorry to interrupt your political discussion. From that cave. But, uh... We need uh. Someone, all right. All right, you got me. What say you, in your defense? you got me, officer. Take me to jail. A stretch in the Castle Dower Dungeon will straighten you right out. The Castle Dower Dungeon. Oh, 
Oh, wait a minute. Thank you, kind sir. Yesterday was my birthday, so I'd really appreciate if you could try to steal a sweet roll at some point. Well, Biscuit, yesterday was the sweet roll stream, if you missed it. But thank you so much for the tier one, and happy birthday. All right, while we're in solitude, let's take a look. I mean, this is a cool layout. This is desperate. It's uh, dystopian, right? It kind of it, it kind of has a gulag vibe to it, where you come down here, it's levels upon levels. You don't really get to face that many prisoners either, unless you have one directly across from you. So the only conversation you can keep is by deftly sliding a note under the door and boomeranging it that's a word, under the other door. The banners are hanging. I mean, this is this would be a tough place to get out of. Absolutely. Now, I don't know if this is Creation Club or if this has always been a thing in this game, but we've got a loose brick here. A map to Blackbone Isle. I'm pretty sure that's Creation Club. Also, I have a note from Kevin. What do you got for me, Kevin? 15 men, a sunken treasure, and a lost ship. That's what I left behind. I took less than a day to sail to Blackbone Isle. Captain said we didn't worry about the cold, so we left the fans, the furs, and packed the steel. Blah, 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 more lore. Okay, so there is some lore in this. I'm taking Kevin's note. I think Kevin's Thank note counts as a souvenir. Sir. Have a great stream, Jew. Resulters. Thank you so much for a three month streak and thank you for the tier one. Okay, well that was easy. I mean, do we give points off or do we give points for having an ease of access escape route? I guess we have to give it points because we did in white run. Oh, the bed is bad. That's bad. This is really bad. It's a pile of fucking hay. At least in white run, you get a cot, but this is really bad. But look at the other amenities we have in here, though. We have a shit bucket. We have a piss basket. We have a puking chair. So all three we can take care of. Look, and the wank basket's in the corner, too. But and again, with the mysterious dead body that they just don't clean up out of the... Oh, that's Kevin himself. Oh, that's... We have Kevin. I didn't know we had Kevin in here. Speaking of wank, there's a large sack in the corner. Whole lot, whole lot of stuff being handed out. They, they hand out flour, so I guess there is some food here. But I mean, you're just gonna be resorting to eating powdered wheat. I'm not sure how good that would be. Points off because it's one-time use. The shit bucket? No, it's not. Shit bucket you could throw on the door, throw out there. I think we do have to give a point off, or, or we, do, we do have to give some negative points for structural or structure, structural integrity. So let's at least just take some notes here. We're gonna take some notes as we do it. So solitude jail. Thank you, kind. Let's go. Ease of access. Exit. Shoddy infrastructure. Infrastructure. That's a hard word to spell. We got bad infrastructure. Control cat. Thank you so much for the prime. Uh, we have shit bucket. Shit bucket's a positive. Really bad bed. Really bad bed. I think the quality of bed can take huge points off. I'm, I'm very against a bad bed. But we also have nice layout. Gulag style. Intimidating. It's very imperial. I mean, you, you, you get the sense that this is an imperial prison while you're in there. So we do have Kevin, so we have lore included, which is nice. Some kind of lore included, that, that's, a, uh, that's a bonus, right? It's just content because of the jail. Hello, Cassie. I'm doing well. You just watched the multiplayer Skyrim VOD with Kiwa and Mickey D. Amazingly fun. What happened to the band tour of Skyrim Quest? We never got around to it, unfortunately. 
Unfortunately, the band's plans never materialized, but that was a ton of fun. Uh, again, mysterious dead body. I know it's Kevin, but I don't like when they leave a dead body in the jail. It's just, it's bad. What if another person dies? What are they going to do with the next five people that die? Right? Are they just going to leave them in the cell? Also, teal, teal, teal vision? Teal vision? Is that how I say that? Thank you so much for the prime. Sorry, I missed that. Control cat, did I say that? Resulters, I got you. Just want to make sure I didn't miss any, so I'm scrolling through chat. The secret exit is a one-time... Yes, you're right. Secret exit is one-time use. It's one-time use. We've already burned our one-time use. And now for our souvenirs. We have Kevin's letter. A shit bucket. And a piss basket. So that we can successfully prove that we were here. Shit bucket. Ooh. Lockpick. And piss basket. Okay, we got our souvenirs. I stand with the storm cloaks. You imperial dog will never break my And oh, sorry. Sorry about that. I did not switch. Yep, scene. But check it out. We also have a prisoner belongings chest ease of access once again that's another plus We got all of our stuff. Ty Pennington has leveled up to level nine and for the first time ever in this game's history, I need to take lock picking perks. I have to. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. Okay, nice little escape route. I really like built-in escape routes. I know this is one, this one's only one time use. So yeah, it doesn't really get to keep a lot of the points. And it takes you right back into town, in the middle of town, no guard barracks if you take the secret exit. Cassie, thank you very much for the prime. We will do Raven Rock Jail. They are on the list. And then after that, Scott Free, I wave, say my hellos as well as my goodbyes at the same time, and we have left the city. That's not bad. Um, so now that we've left and we've escaped, let's go back and take another look at our final notes because we're going to have to give a final score here. Uh, so we have ease of access exit. I'm going to go slash belongings but it's one-time use, which I don't think gets it that many points. The infrastructure is obviously crumbling a little bit if an entire wall was gonna fall. The crumbling infrastructure is what gave us the one-time use exit, but if the infrastructure is still bad, and after we leave, the infrastructure will still be bad, but there's no ease of access exit, I don't know if I can give it I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking. I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking for a final score chat. And then, you know, we can see how close I am to what you guys are thinking. But of course, if you're in the chat, rank it one through 10 decimals allowed. So really, it's like ranking it one to 100. But whatever you believe that the solitude jail is, please rank taking in all the factors that we have. Remember the piss bucket, the poop bucket. Those are very important, you know, supplying Oh, the bed is so bad, though. I do like the layout, but the bed is so bad. It's hay. It's skin. The last one at least had a cot, you know? Don't be mad at me, chat. 4-9. Solitude Jail is a 4-9.
It is not a five. It is not a five. It is not average. It, and I'm confident as we start to go through these jails, that it will n n nothing. Will it? it things are going to be below it. Things are going to be above it. But four nine is going to be somewhere right in the middle. It, it, I, I can't give it an average average. Four six five five three out of ten. Six seven. We have a six seven and a six eight. Seven point eight. Where are some of these numbers coming from? Too high unless you like being eaten by a vampire. DLC including or just base game? Uh, there's one jail in Dragonborn and we're going to do that one. You think I, I think you need to give more points to the layout? I don't know. I don't think I do. Time out, one sec, chat. Sorry, I've got to unmute my mic. Uh, I'm sticking with 4.9. Got to go with whatever we're feeling here. It's a gut feeling. And I'm sticking by it. So we might as well just go down the line and do Markarth. Since it's right down the road. But I'm not really sure how Markarth is going to play out. What happened? A woman attacked right on the streets and it wasn't me? Well, oh. got something ah, looks like a letter from the Yarl moving up in the world. I just got out of jail. Okay, so easiest way to get thrown into jail. Hmm. I'll just grab some meat. Punch a child? Crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Let's go. Let's go to the Markarth jail. It's off to the Sidna mine for you. Which is not a jail. All right, prisoner. Eyes front. You're in Sidna mine now, and we expect you to earn your keep. There's no rest in your hide in a cell in this prison. Here you work. You'll mine ore until you start throwing up silver bars. You got it? I'm sorry, I'm a little deaf in this ear. Don't get smart with me. I'm in charge. You keep it up, I'll have your toes cut off. All right, open her up. Now you, get down there. All right, I'm going, I'm going. Uh, not a great start here, but you know what? Pause. Let me save real quick. Let's bring this back over to our informative PowerPoint slide here. Let's get a new slide going. The Sidna Mine. Did I spell that right? Maybe I did. I don't really care. Markarth. I'll tell you what. Not very often. Does a jail in this country offer you a sense of community? Friendship. Right? Think about it. We come in here and we've Thank already you, got friends. Great to catch a stream. Already, already some friends over here. We can, we can jump down, figure out what the vibe is, maybe talk to people. Hey, what are you in for? Oh, nice. Well, I murdered the parents of 14 different orphans. What did you, what did you do? Oh, you stole bread to feed your starving family? Hmm. Well, I'm technically in here for stealing a hunk of meat. Cody, how are you? Thank you very much for the tier one.
Let's just the new meat. So soft, tender. See? What and we've like already made a friend. One, huh? What was it like killing your first one, huh? Killing my first parent? Exciting. I felt the rush of blood and smiled. I'm not a murderer. I'm just gonna lie to him. Liar. No. Uh, how does he know? See, what did I tell you, chat? What are you in for? We're already being very camaraderie camaraderie or camaraderic? That's not a word. I'm making it a word. Murder, banditry, assault, theft, and lollygagging. <laughs> He's in for lollygagging? Don't mess with this guy. Don't mess with this guy. <laughs> it's kind of an open concept kind of jail. Um, you know, I thought we would really just open this place up, make it spacious, have room for like kind of a get together, maybe karaoke night or something one time. Sorry, my mom's an interior designer and has watched a lot of those shows before. I feel like I hear that. It's kind of open concept. Maybe a bit of a modern look. Twelve years ago, was running a good group of bandits up until then. But these forsworn, they're nothing like the men I cobbled together. They're real killers. The front of my nose could stop itching. I'd appreciate it. Can you make me bloodkin? Trust like that is not freely given. I want to join a gang. All right then. Like this place has the most potential for sure to have in-prison gangs. It's the only actual prison in this game. What are you in for, new blood? Nothing, I'm innocent. I did nothing wrong. Innocent? So was I, for the first one. The other murders were all me, though. My advice? Serve your time at the pickaxe and get out. You don't want to end up getting a shiv in the guts over a bottle of skooma. Okay, whatever. Nazim. Uh, oh, a shiv. Skuma. Small blade, easy to hide. I mean, sure, you could just swing a pickaxe into someone's face, but people tend to see that coming. Got a problem with a prisoner? Get a shiv. Here, Grisbar has a spare, if you could get him to part with it. Hell yeah, I need to get a shiv. Also, is there skuma in jail? Bottles of moon sugar. Khajiit use it as a pick-me-up. Good way to pass the time. Prisoners smuggle the stuff in. Only currency we have. I like this guy. I like the characters that are in this jail. They come in here once a week to clean out the bodies. Grab any and the guards here clean out dead bodies. We haven't seen that in any other prison. We have to write that down. We have to write that down. That's huge. That's a direct comparison to the other jails. And we have it backed up by, you know in-game dialogue so hold on they have corpse removal here sense of community friendship we have corpse removal service is corpse removal services um old heads i'm just gonna say old heads like you know in the prison movie whenever the main character goes to prison and they find somebody, it's always an old head. There's always an old head in the jail who kind of shows them the ropes and explains, thing, explains things to them. At all the other jails, you're the old head that you run into. It's just a text box when you click on your bed and it says, eh, you know, wait here as long as you can and just sleep it off and then you're done. But wisdom sharing in prison and having, you know, an old guy, you can kind of just connect with and trust a little bit, that's huge. Right away, I think Sid to mine is off to a pretty big lead. It also, yes, okay, it has a functioning, functioning prison economy. <laughs> this is the closest one to a normal society we've found. It might be the only one. It's definitely the only one like this. This is gonna be a 10 out of 10. This is gonna be S tier. I just know it will. Sorry for spoilers, but it's, it's gonna be way up there in terms of score. All right, who can we get a shiv from? Because I want to take that. I think it's Grisvar. I got locked up one too many times. Now I'm in for life. Hey, I need a shiv. It's important. It's for a mission. Ah, you want protection? I can get you what you need. Maybe you could do something for me first. Duok has a bottle of skooma. 
finest distilled moon sugar. Thank you, kind Easy. Sir. Thinking about it. Hey, Jew. Hope your weekend was great. Shannon, you as well. Thank you. I hope you had a good weekend. Thank you, friend. Don't worry. I'll have that shiv ready for you. The first time, thieving. The second time, thieving. The third time, thieving. It kind of keeps going like that. I Until was next sent time. here because someone said I was a poor swimmer. I swear, if I ever get out of here. Okay, we gotta get Skuma. Who do we have to get it from? Grizvar? Oh, that's who we have to get it for. Okay, quests available in prison. Other prisoners get suspicious when we talk to each other, so keep it down. Whenever I get out of here, I'm gonna... You give me one more look, and I cut you open. That skooma's mine. Tell me this place has prison fights. Skooma addict. Get lost. Easy there. I didn't mean nothing. Take it. Okay, no prison fights. But you can use intimidation on people. So we can call that rough. We can call that uh, rough encounters. Which are very jail. I'm giving up thieving. Really. Here's your shiv. Promise you won't ever use it on me, okay? All right, then. All right, Grisvar, I promise. Hell yeah. Check it out, I got a weapon. I'm innocent. The Nord's afraid to You're not innocent. You're not innocent. Just do your time like the rest of us here, okay? I swear. I All right, now for... Our souvenirs, let's go pickaxe, shiv, and then I want to find my own skooma. Let's see if we can find some skooma. If we can get out of jail with skooma, that'd be huge. How do we break out of here, though? Is it possible to break out of here without the quest? Whenever I get out of here, I'm going to kill a Nord. He does. He has skooma on him. Okay, we got to get the skooma. He doesn't move very often. 48% chance? I like those odds. Think you can steal from me? I do think I can steal from him. What do you think you I'm not doing anything, and I'm certainly not cheating. Okay, I've been caught three times. This is too much. What happens if I get caught pickpocketing, though? Does he attack me? Oh no, this is just turning into a prison brawl now. All right, come on. You don't want to hand over your drugs. Hey, no magic. No double teams. I'm getting jumped. I'm actually getting jumped in prison. Why are you attacking me? You're the old head. You're supposed to be my friend. All right, everybody. Let's just calm down now. You're not reviving him. <laughs> you put him back in jail. He was probably happy to, you know, meet his fate. Why is every here a fire? Why is everyone here a fire enthusiast? You should have picked a smarter fight. How are they all too powerful for Fury? It's like the best spell in the whole game. I'm not gonna get in trouble for this, am I? I mean, they did attack me. Okay, this Borkel guy is tough. What's his deal? You can't me. Don't worry, Chet. I just want to kill them all and see where it goes. We have to explore the options available here. Okay, now that's a positive. If you want, you can engage in prison riots. That would be fun. You can incite a whole riot. Got gauntlets, skooma. Damn, everyone has skooma on them. They're all leaving me hanging. I want skooma. Everyone has a shiv as well. 
taking an extra one. Now that door's locked, requires a key. I doubt there's really another way to get the key. Grizzvar, the you're the one who didn't get killed. You're the lucky one. I got locked up one too many times. Now I'm in for life. I swear. If I ever first it was six months, then a year, then two years. Now I. Right. So you serve your time here by doing hard manual labor. Which, uh, that's certainly a negative. What do their lodgings look like? Where are the beds? There has to be a place we sleep, right? Unless it's behind that locked gate. What do we have in here? We have cabbage. Okay, we have to get behind that locked gate. I don't know if there's enough stuff here we can use, though, to get through it. Like, I really doubt that I can use a pickaxe to get through. Or maybe I can. It's possible. What if we took a tunic? Take a rough spun tunic. It's fairly flat, kind of like a plate. Uh, it doesn't seem to be agreeing with our hitbox. Might be too thin. Uh, and if we go up here, this one's uh, not even locked. It's just not a door that can be activated. Unless my game is glitched in a weird way. But it looks like our only way to move forward is to go through that door right there or wait out our sentence. All right, I'm going to load my previous save. I'm going to steal the skooma successfully. All right, then. Grab this cup and hope I can just blast right through the door. Yeah, it's only it's only through the quest. You serve your time by digging. So dig. Nah, uh, I'm going to be stubborn for a little bit and just try this. Cuz it looks like there's a little bit of give. Oh my god, it actually worked. Oh, yes. Okay. We hit the exit successfully. We got skooma. We got a shiv. Another locked door, though. Who are you? Got something to say? Yeah. How do you have this nice, cushy little place? Need something? It must be quest related. He's got money back here. He's got a whole operation. This just confirms that there is an active prison economy here. And literacy. Yes, they have a reading program. They have a writing and reading program. That's another huge, huge win for Sidna Mine. Maybe this guy has the key. No, he doesn't. This bucket should work. Come on. Right there. Mm. Oh, you son of a door. I kind of like it when the bucket's laying almost, yeah, when it's laying vertically like that. I think that way's going to work better. If we get the bucket vertical, oop. Except it launches it and almost kills me. Why am I having such a hard time with the bucket? Does he have a, 
Sorry, my bad. I know. Need Chat, you're probably yelling at me already. There's a wooden blade on the desk. I can see the comments now. Wooden plate for sure the easiest. Come on. You're right there. Ty, you can do this. We've interior decorated. We've carried a sweet roll. We've done a lot of bullshit. I'm not letting this door beat me. There we go. Blast on through. Did the plate go with me? No, we probably lost the plate, sadly. But we're through the door. Now, as long as we don't run into another... Oh, Christ. Oh, man. All right, well, we got a dungeon we have to go through now. This prison just keeps getting better and better. Will this be an all prisons ranked video? No, all the quests that we've done in the last few streams will all be in one video. At least that's the goal. I mean, this is cool. Cool little exit. We even have loot on the way out, enchanted gear. Probably spiders. We're gonna run into spiders, aren't we? Yeah, it's not ideal, but at least I have a fighting chance, which is more than most prisoners have. I can probably beat this guy with a shiv. Okay, no, even on the easiest difficulty, they're still pretty tough. Don't block with it. It's not gonna help. Ow, ow. Where the hell is the exit? Is this it? Is that it? Not the exit. There it is. Oh my god, they even have robot guardians. No, not today. I have a book to write. I need to write my book. I can't handle all this. Although not a lot of authors can tell a story of running away from giant spiders and robot. Mm, it requires a key, always a key. <clears throat> Don't tell on me. All right, I think we got enough of the Markarth jail experience there though to take whatever notes we want. I can't believe that exit door didn't need a key. Incredible, wow. Yeah, it's because I took the first perk of lock picking. That's why, that's why. All right, so the Sidna mine, we've got a sense of community and friendship, corpse removal services, old heads in the prison. We have a functioning prison economy, no beds, only one for one guy. Got to take that into account. No beds, no easy exit route, no easy exit route. Prison riots are a plus open concept well, well you know it's uh, <laughs> that's such a dumb thing it's more of open concept just say there's nothing there just say it's empty open concept just means empty and for our souvenirs we have a shiv skooma and a shovel honestly probably our best three souvenirs that we've gotten so far and now for a final score for sitting a mine in Markarth, taking everything into account, no beds, everyone sleeps on the dirt, it's manual labor, I didn't really even put that in there. Manual labor. Although compared to the other prisons that don't offer anything, um, manual labor is tough. 
but you are doing something all day. So you could probably find ways to motivate yourself through your jail sentence that way. All things considered, I think the sense of community and having actual just people to talk to in the prison elevates it to a level that no other prison we test will reach. So I'm thinking... I gotta go with my gut. I gotta go with what my, my brain tells me. 8-3. 8.3. I, uh, okay, I forgot the literacy program. I didn't talk about the literacy program. <laughs> I, the, was the literacy program actually... Was it... I don't know if that was just a guy reading. He might not have, uh, he might, he might not have been part of the literacy program. But right, yeah, literacy for one guy, a bed for one guy. I just got to go with the, you know, what I'm seeing. That's all I can do. We can just go first instinct how we feel. It's a vibes kind of thing. It's certainly a vibes thing. So final score for Mark Hart, sitting to mind, 8.3. Let's recap a little bit. Right, white Run, we gave a 6.1. Solitude, I really downgraded to a 4.9 for various reasons. Mark Hart comes in as our leader at 8.3. A new benchmark. Is sitting to mind going to be the best jail in all of Skyrim? All right, now we can move east, I believe. How many are left on the list? I gotta check the list one more time. Okay, so we've done Markarth. I'm just gonna put an X next to him if we've done them. Markarth, Solitude. Thank you, kind sir. White Run. I guess we'll move east and do Falkreath next. Let's do Falkreath. Falkreath Jail. I've been to Falkreath Jail recently on a stream a while ago. <laughs> Both recently and a while ago, apparently. But I do know roughly what we're going to see when we go there. We're off to Falkreath. Did I get my stuff back? I guess I didn't get my stuff back. Um, yeah, I totally forgot about my stuff. <laughs> I forgot about it. Excuse me, officer. I'm just back to retrieve my things. Is my stuff still in White Run? No, we got our stuff back in White Run and in Solitude. Excuse me, ma'am. Where is the evidence chest? If I catch you stealing anything, I will break your neck. No, you won't. You most certainly will not. Nobody's broken Ty Pennington's neck. Oh, it's in here. It's in here. I catch you stealing anything. Alright, we might not have any choice. We might have to get caught here. What do we have for lockpicks? One. Can we pickpocket the key off of somebody? Key to send to mine. Yeah, she has the key on her. You're mine. Classic. Yes, Raven Rock Jail is on the list. Sorry for cheating. Stay away from that. See, they don't even care. It's perfectly fine. They're like, oh, those are your things. Yeah, 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 I remember. Prisoner 4B. Yeah, we have you on record. Go, get your stuff. It's all marked. It's all tagged. We're good to go. All 
All right, Falk Wreath, I want to say, is really small. Might as well put our shiv to good use. Can you upgrade the shiv? Let's see, where's the grindstone? Don't tell me you don't have a grindstone. What kind of blacksmith are you? Yes. Shiv! 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 Alright, alright, you got me. Hey, hey, I said you got me. Oh no. Oh, they might have heard of my exploits. I must have sheathed too early. Damn it, officer, just put me in jail. Okay, they're really mad. This is why you should not attempt to assassinate the Jarl. I wasn't going to kill him. Get out of the way, please. Okay, excuse me. Hey, how are you? Welcome to our bar. Can I get you anything? Vodka Red Bull? Vodka Cranberry? Ooh, a whiskey sour. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm leaving. Whoop. Ow, fuck, got me in the knees. Yo, you guys suck. I'm not reviewing your jail anymore. I'm leaving you a one-star review on Yelp. Ah. Uh, Jesus, look at all those red dots. Poor fools aren't aware that the High Elf has the fastest running speed in the game. Right, that's why they're all upset. They've had too many people coming by just to check out their jail. It must be a popular attraction. If it is, I have to see it. Does anybody ever enter into Falkreath from here? This feels like a rare entrance to Falkreath, like a part of the game map that nobody ever goes through. Dude, douche nozzle. Put me in. J it's starting to piss me off now. I've used too many of my. I've used too many of my auto saves as well. They're just gonna keep attacking me. I'll be back. enemies nearby. Alright, Falkreath, I'm about to skip you. I'm about to skip you entirely. They're about to be forgotten about. The prison, the history of prison, the uh, thesaurus of prisons in Skyrim will not include Falkreath right now because they're being dicks. Being just, they're being rude. I don't like them. You know what? We're going to Morthal. We're going to Morthal instead. We'll, we'll check out Falkreath after a few more jails, but let's try Morthal. No, I will not be assaulting the Jarl here because the Jarl here is awesome. Jarl Idgrad Ravencrone is the best Jarl in Skyrim, and I will have no arguments. I will attack this chicken, though. I would love to see your jail. Please, allow me to tour your prisons. I guess you're smarter than you look. Uh, 
All right, so. Okay, first impressions are actually much more positive than I would have thought here. We have a broom and a bucket. We have a basket and another bucket, so two possible shit buckets. The bedroll, I think, is underrated. Yes, it's on a stone floor. It's not nearly as good as the cot. If it was raised, it would probably be the best bed possible. But it is a bedroll. I mean, that's better than hay and, like, a fuck you wolf skin on top of it. Like, that's not that bad. For this setting and all of that, now... And look, we even have a chandelier of goat horns. That's some pretty fancy setup. Infrastructure looks really strong and stable. That's not too bad. Look, they even have aesthetic and a skeever head on the wall. Bed rolls are on top of hay. Come on now. No, they're not. Come on. That's like a sprinkle of hay. That's like saying you seasoned your steak when all you did was just flick, you know, some salt at it. That's nothing. Now, here's where the issues kind of start. You leave the cell. You're met with one guard, minimal encounters to get out of here, another bed, and I assume that this just connects right to the barracks, so the escape from here is going to be pretty miserable. But in terms of comfort... I gotta say, this one's not that bad. It's claustrophobic for sure. Doesn't have a cool, easy exit like Whiterun. But I don't think that this is that bad. In my head right now, I think that this will land higher on the list than Solitude. So let's break out of here first, because, you know, we have to find our souvenirs. I have a better idea. Here's how I'm going to get out of jail. Hey, not fair. Not fair. You got to open the door. Unless, does he not have the key? I could pick the lock with one of his arrows. Stay right there. I need him to get really close to the door. He's too far. He's trying to counter me. Get close to the door. Just like in the action movies. Grab him from between the bars, right? Ah. Slam his head against the door. Pissing me off now. Look, they even have apples in here. They care about prisoner health. No, no, I'm done. I'm done with this guard's shit. I'm, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> you can even use the poop bucket to escape out the door. It just has to work. Eventually it will. Can I block his arrow with the basket? I kind of want to try. He seems to be struggling, though, getting his arrows through the door. Damn it. Come on, you can do this. Come on, Ty. This is embarrassing. This guy needs to hurry up and run out of arrows. Okay, bucket. Or the bucket? No, bucket's not working. I'm gonna have to take points off if I can't get through this door with any of the buckets or the baskets. Sack, can't move the sack. No, still not working. What is going on? Fine, I'll unlock the door during combat.
Lock's gonna break. Maybe not. Come on. Too far? Fuck! Too far! I knew it! Ah, oh, I'm sorry, that drives me nuts! Ah! Uh, <laughs> damn it! Ah! Uh, why? Okay, not bad. Somehow he heard that. Somehow he heard that and he cares. Now what's cool about this prison though is it does kind of allow you to fight a guard immediately in a one-on-one -on -one encounter rather than getting jumped by 20 of them. So I think that that's a decent positive. We can't hate on this too much. Or at least I'm not gonna hate, hold on. A roll of paper, a quill! We found the quill we needed. Was there an inkwell on here? I accidentally just blasted to the back of the room. I'm probably not gonna be able to find it if there was one. All right, but either way, we got no key. I'm gonna take a roll of paper. Key to the jail. I need another souvenir though. What should my souvenir from here be? Got all my stuff back, all my souvenirs. Wine and a roll of paper. Those are our souvenirs. Souvenirs could use some love. Schaefer Merrill, thank you very much for the prime. Apologies for missing that, but thank you. Juve, I want to say I love your vids, especially the VOD channel. Dan Olson, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you very much. So this one goes right to, I mean, this is a great layout. If this was the prison itself, this room, and they gave this to the prisoners, it would probably be a 10 out of 10. But so far, I'm leaning... I think I'm leaning 5-1 between... Or, sorry, between 5-9 and 6-3, at least so far. But it does connect right to the guardhouse. We'll have to see how this plays out here. Like, is this going to be a nearly impossible escape, or is it easy? I hear someone... Okay, there's a guard sleeping right there. I've already been caught. Is that a child? No. It's just a guy. I don't really have any potions I can use either. Okay, so I am going to get caught. Might as well just run for it. Oh, wait, he's not a guard. <laughs> he doesn't care. All the guards are sleeping. Who are you? I'm the best warrior in Morthal, and that's no boast. Hmm. Oh crap, I still have to un really I gotta unlock this door, Benor. Morthal used to be a quiet place, but then the world used to Whatever. I'm waltzing out of here. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Honestly, bro, just take me back to jail at this point. What is that crap? Oh, now all the other guards are awake. Fantastic. Well, you know what? Piss off. I'm leaving regardless. I can't believe that's what gets me caught. Are you serious? Jesus, guys. Go, go, go. Get me out of here. Okay, uh, regardless, with that last interaction being kind of bullshit... We made it out, and I have to say, Morthal, probably the easiest escape of them all. But I'm going to have to put that, yeah, in the cons category of incredibly confident sight of an eagle guards, hearing of a bat. He used echolocation to find me as soon as the lockpick broke. That motherfucker knew when and where I was. Jump. You. You violated the law. Come with me and bask in our prison. Please, we'd like you to rate us five stars. 
Much better than the Tiber Septim Hotel in the Elven Gardens district. Please, enjoy your stay with us. Okay, so that was Morthal. I gotta be honest. I think that the escape being as smooth and easy as it was, if that guard never popped up, it would have been perfection. So in terms of grading it out, honestly, well, let, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. We haven't done all the pros and cons. We haven't listed out anything. So I'll have to say cozy aesthetic. Oops, I have caps lock on. Cozy. Aesthetic. Certainly got a cozy aesthetic. I think it's got like right, right, right like it's got the chandelier. If I spelled that right, it's got the chandelier. It's got um, good woodwork. Fine woodwork, real sturdy, sturdy. I think is the right word I'm looking for. It's got a chandelier, good woodwork, woodwork. It's sturdy in there. Will I ever go get your pre? We went to get our pre previous belongings. I don't know what you're talking about. We got them. Cozy aesthetic. Uh, only one guard. Only one guard. Incredibly easy escape. I mean, it's 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 really easy. That that should be an easy one for them to get through. Beds, not bad. They're they're okay. I mean, they're passable. Apples, or we'll just say amenities. It's got some amenities. It's got some apples, a shit bucket, right? Shit buckets are always nice to have in the jail. Uh, a bit small. It is a bit small. I don't want to be all positive here. It's a bit small. Kind of by the books. Nothing really special about it. Oh, I'm writing for Falkreath. Morthal. We got to change it to Morthal because we skipped Falkreath. It's a little bit by the books. I, I think that kind of just sums it up. So our souvenirs. We took a quill. Wine. What was the last thing we took? I think we took a shit bucket. So the souvenirs were kind of eh. Either way, I'm going final score. Remember, I just have to go with the first number that pops in my head. I'm going final score. If Sidna Mine is an 8-3. And Solitude is a 4-9. I got to go with the first number that popped in my head. First impression number. This might be a little high. But I'm going to give Morthal a 7-1. I'm going to go 7-1. I'm going with a 7.1. 7-1. 71 out of 100. And I, I, I think this is going to be my most controversial pick. But I think the straight line escape to get out of there was so convenient... They had just a regular named NPC who didn't care about my crimes. That's who was on staff. That was the second guard. I didn't even get in trouble for killing the first guard. Remember, the first guard, we got, we were able to kill them with no repercussion. So I'm going 7-1. I, I was going to go 6-9 at first, but I just, I had to lean 7-1 because of the escape. I'm just simping for the Jarl there. Maybe I am. Okay, maybe I'm leaving Jarl Idgrad Ravencrone a good review on her jail because I like her. Because I have a crush on her. Is that what you want me to say? Because she's got an essence about her that is commanding and confident and cool, sexy. I don't know. But either way, 7-1 is the answer. That's what I'm going with, and I'm not changing it. Dawnstar. 
Yes, the Dawnstar Jail. Anybody ever gone to jail in Dawnstar? I feel like going to jail in Dawnstar is an impossible feat. We might be the first Skyrim players to ever witness what Dawnstar Jail looks like. Because off the top of my head, I have no idea. Let's just keep it really simple here. Right, real easy with it. Set a guard on fire. By order of the Jarl, stop right there. Pull a little prank. I guess you're smarter than you look. Ooh. Okay. So if Morthal is a 7-1, this is already a downgrade. The bedding situation is similar. I'll give it that for having passable beds. But look at what we had in Morthal and what they've taken away from us. They took away our shit bucket. They took away our broom. The chandelier has been replaced with sconces. I mean, sconces, there's nothing inherently wrong with the sconce. Love a nice sconce. Always been a sconce fan. I love the sconce. But the chandelier is sort of like the Pokemon evolution of the torch sconce. So I think that that's a bit of an upgrade. I will say reading material is nice, but it depends on what the reading material is. Also, no skeever head. Right. There's just a lack of edge here. You know, little, uh, cobwebs. I don't remember seeing cobwebs in Morthal. Okay. Hold on. This is a plus. A lock picking book. The Wolf Queen. From the pen of my first century third era sage, Montokai. Third era, year 63. And the Atum. Can't read that word. Okay, uh, well, the book is bullshit and really hard to read, so I'm taking points off for that. It's too difficult. Excuse me, officer? Stay right there, stay right there, stay right there, stay right there. Stay right there. Thank you. Shout. Didn't count? Didn't count? Didn't count? Wait, come on, it's 52% chance. Didn't count? Counted? Uh, I, I think that that's a pro as well. That the guard's natural schedule and route brings him to the jail door. I think that that's a pro. So now we can test the escape route. We're already caught. We're going to get caught. We're going to get in trouble. That's cool. Got to make sure to steal all of our stuff back. We got it. Uh, and for souvenirs, I will take cheese, a sweet roll, and an apple pie. We got to get out of here fast, though. Oh, my lord. Okay, so the escape is problematic here. They have a very good strategy for resolving escaped prisoners. They did clear out, though. They're not as competent as I thought. Holy crap, they were all lined up in the doorway. Okay, so Dawnstar is like a slightly more competent jail than the Morthal jail. Dawnstar was ready for an escape. Everybody remember, my reviews and my jail experience is going to be different than everybody else's jail experience. I just have to do these reviews based on what happened when I was there. surprisingly easy to escape from jail all right let's review Dawnstar let's recap let's recap so Dawnstar we have Similar, but slightly worse. God damn it, caps lock. Similar, but slightly worse. Aesthetic to Morthal. Cobwebs. No shit bucket. Good reading. Plus 
lockpick training. However, I'm going to put a little second note under this one. The book is hard to read. Which makes me uncomfortable. The book's hard to read. All right, it, ma it made up words. Autumn tide, autumn tide, whatever it was saying. Yeah, you don't get a lot of grace there. Uh, convenient patrol route. That brings the guard to stand right in front of your door so that they can have the key stolen from them. That's nice. Easy escape route. Underneath that second point to kind of cancel out the good from that. Competent guard strategy. The way they sort of line up in that staircase and create a brick wall of guards. Like you're climbing and swimming through a sewer tunnel. It's just made up of liquid guard. Every inch of the staircase was covered by guard. Every square inch filled with justice. So that was kind of a difficult escape. But an easy route. All in all, our souvenirs were... Pie, cheese, sweet roll. Not bad souvenirs. I don't think a sweet roll is a bad souvenir. Same with a pie. But overall score. Just wait till you get to Winterhold Jail, Jail or Fargo Monkas. Winterhold Jail, you say? There's been a lot of hype on Winterhold Jail. So the overall score of Dawnstar, we gave Morthal a 7-1. This absolutely cannot be higher than Morthal. It's a worse version of Morthal. Let's compare. We have Cindamine at 8-3, Morthal at 7-1, Solitude 4-9, Whiterun is a 6-1. So for Dawnstar, I'm going to go overall score of... Five point eight. Five point eight is the final score I am awarding Don Star Jail. It's worse than Morthal in almost every way. It's worse. It's it's got the lock picking book. The lock picking book saves it a little bit. Same with having a straightforward and easy escape route. But given what we scored Solitude, and especially what we scored White Run, thinking back on it retroactively, okay, this might be controversial. Also, Gapto, thank you so much for a thousand bits. I did not see that. I, I, I was reading through chat. Thank you very much. That was incredibly kind of you. I'm, I'm bumping up White Run to a 6-3 because the inclusion of an actual bed in the White Run Jail is starting to build up the White Run Jail stock. I think it's starting to get up there a bit. Five, five out of ten, five point two, five point five, five point three at best, five point five at best. So you think I should take it down even lower? Well, I think I think I'm gonna leave it at a five eight, but I think this needs to retroactively give White Run a bump to six point three. And White Run still, I think, has room to grow. I think White Run can climb up the leaderboards a bit. It's not gonna hit Morthal. That's its barrier. White Run cannot hit 7-1. At max, White Run can probably hit 6-8. Maybe 6-9. Haha, <laughs> funny number. But right now, I'm going to leave White Run at a 6.3. I think it's the most fair. Dawnstar 5-8 just feels right. You know, it's it's just a number that rolls off the tongue. 5-8. I think it fits Dawnstar. We will. We'll, we'll take another look at the end because we'll have to build this tier list out. So after Dawnstar, we will go to... New slide. Winterhold. We're going to Winterhold next. Markarth was an 8.1. Let's go to Winterhold. Now, you guys have been hyping up Winterhold a lot. I'm going to be honest. I'm I'm not... I feel like I kind of remember Winterhold. I'm not supremely confident in it doing that well. 
it could underperform, right? If this was March Madness, Winterhold might be a three seed facing a 14 seed, but I could see Winterhold getting upset. Take me to your jail. Enjoy the chill. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That is not what it's called. It's called the chill? No. Oh, that is so cold. Woo! Oh no, there's no way that a jail in the ice cold just rolled up to this ranking and said, oh no, 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 no. It's not the Winterhold Jail. It's not Sydna Mine. It's not Deep Barrow Cave or something like that. It's the chill. The chill. Enjoy the chill. What happened to Tom? We haven't seen him in a while. We haven't seen him in a while. Oh, you didn't hear? You didn't hear what happened? He's in the chill. That is sweet. The aesthetic incredible i mean this is unlivable unhinged you do not want to be in this jail the walls are ice they do have a bedroll points for having a bedroll but the bedroll is on top of iron bars so the bedroll would be like falling in between those cracks you know what i mean it would be like like this like okay this is the ground and then you have your bed and it hits one of those cracks and then your bed would sort of bend and then it would be flat on the bar and then it would bend again. So it, your, your back would be through waves. You'd have so much back pain. You'd be freezing cold. There's, you couldn't survive more than a day, which is why these other prisoners are dead. They don't have corpse removal. Confirmed, no removal of corpses, but at least you get an individual non-shared corpse-free cage. So that's nice. And let's talk about the guard. I mean, Dwayne, welcome back. It's good to see you. Long time no see. Haven't seen you since Solstheim. Dwayne, the chillest Atronach, pun maybe intended, in Elder Scrolls history. I mean, look at him. I posted on Twitter not long ago. I posted on Twitter and I said, dream blunt rotation. You know who I included in my dream blunt rotation? Caius Cassades, Jarl Idgrod Ravencrone, Joffrey, and this dude. This dude just seems like a cool ass dude. He can't talk yet, but I know if he did, he would say some awesome stuff. If he could speak, he'd have probably deep thoughts, but he'd also be caring, Thank right? He'd be like a big sure. teddy bear that you want to hug, but also hang out with. Now, aside from all of that, aside from this whole thing being really cool, you know, aesthetic wise, prison wise. I mean, look at this. I got no room. I have no room for activities. I can't even pretend to have hobbies in here. I can't even close my eyes and say, you know what, today I'm just going to imagine I'm out playing catch with my friends. Can't do that. None of that. This is despair. So that's going to bring it down for sure. Being an absolutely miserable underground death prison, going to lose some points there. But I have pretty high hopes for the chill Ooh, it gets this is the only place that's going to get a, se a severe bump in its score because of the name don't do it to me don't do this to me okay thank you okay so Dwayne is going to be mad right away it's a nice easy escape though you open it you leave where are the belongings Oh my god, it's an even worse, more terrifying escape. They have three of them out there. Okay, so if you leave, you're you're jumped by even more giant rock men. Where's my stuff though? Where does it go? It's not in the barrels. Oh, hold on. We have to get souvenirs. Okay, give me a carrot. Some gold. <laughs> what else can I get? Am I going to have to kill you? Fine. Okay, we'll just have to take out this giant rock. I don't want to kill him. Oh god, oh god, his friends are here. <laughs> oh no, the way they post up. It's like they know they've already won the fight.
Okay, and for our third souvenir, souvenir, frost salts. We'll take frost salts out of here. Count it. I got my souvenir. Excuse me. Hi. Oh, they're going with the same strategy as the Dawnstar guards. It's a common jail escape defense strategy that a lot of groups in Skyrim employ. Listen, fellas, listen. I'm conducting very intimate and important research and look where it's at. Look where the jail is. That means the guards have to drag your ass. Where are... We're... The town's... I mean, it's a half mile away. A half mile away. They boat your ass out onto the icy lake, throw you underground into a cavern. <laughs> I, that's just impossible. That's terrifying. Gold on top of jail? What do you mean? What, like the, the vein? Oh, I don't care. We are, we already got our, uh, we got our souvenirs. We got gold coins. I thought you were saying that I left my gold back there. Okay, now I'm going north. There's the town. Can I fast travel back there? Oh, I probably shouldn't fast travel back there. But wait, where is my stuff? How come you're in winter my pa says people like to eat where does my stuff go? It's on me? Oh, duh, I had my weapon. And they don't, okay. So hold on. I think I can reason here. I think I can reason here for something pretty wild. So Winterhold Jail, AKA the chill. Untouchable, badass name. You can't touch it. The chill is way too cool. Okay? Insane. Aesthetic. Downright miserable. Okay. Ice walls. Awful sleep. No room to roam. Zero opportunities for friendship. Isolated and sad. But hold on. No evidence chest. Trial by combat. Easy escape. It's merit based. It's it, it is a merit based prison. If you are thrown into the chill, if you can escape, you're free to go. If you can escape, you're free to go. For souvenirs we took we took gold coins, a carrot, and uh, ice or frost salts and frost salts. So for souvenirs, we got gold coins, carrot, and frost salts. So the reason why I think all the terrible of the chill is offset by the simple fact that if you pick the lock to your cage and you run out of the cave and you're able to survive, you're free to go. You don't have to go through an evidence chest. You don't have to talk to the guards again. You don't have to see really anything again. You just have to run into some of the game's wild dangers. That's all you have to run into. And in terms of right doing this mission for the Thieves Guild, if the thieves were gonna be thrown into any of the jails, the chill is probably the easiest one for them to get into and to slide out of. Well, maybe not the easiest to get into because it's isolated and, and the frequency with which you'll get jailed while in Winterhold is honestly much lower than the others. But this is going to be controversial again. And all things considered, people aren't going to like this one. I think this one's going to cause some uproar. I am giving the chill... An 8.8 .8 final score, placing it higher 
then send to mine for number one overall. I am placing the chill at number one of an untouched aesthetic, a vibe that is creepy, and one that when you leave it for the first time, like when I just left it now, makes you kind of sit back and think, whoa, whoa, they actually dragged me all the way out here? That's terrifying. Like the concept of the chill as a jail is horrifying. When they put people into the chill, they go there to die, not to leave. So if you are able to escape, if you're able to prove your worth and leave the jail, no bullshit, you keep all your stuff, you're out. Sydna Mine, right. Quest locked. You know, there's some, you gotta play around with it a little bit. Eight point eight. Eight point eight. I'm not moving off of it. You want to make your own list? You want to rank them your own way? Rank them your own way <laughs> using your own uh, uh, criteria. Okay. Next up on the list. Windhelm Jail. I haven't been back to the Windhelm Jail since we last played in Windhelm, which was, of course, our region locked adventure in Windhelm. I remember a lot about this jail. Uh, have I already been to Windhelm? Damn. Oh, that's right. I used console commands to delete these guys. The dickheads right when you get into town. I'm a sailor in the north wind. We're laying over. All right. How should I get thrown in jail? Um, no one bought any flowers again today. I don't know what to do. I'm not going to club the child. I'm not I'm not going to hit nope. Oh, that's right. They're investigating a murder here. Keep your distance. Something they tell soldiers. He's the murderer. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Wait, he just attacked. He just attacked the actual murderer. Now, I was trying to do you a favor and take out the murderer before I could go to jail, but guess I got to go to jail. I guess you're smarter than you look. All right, so we've been here before. Obviously, last time we were here was during that quest. Um, let's just, you know, I guess sort of relive it. Take another look around. Right? Yes, aesthetically. Uh, this place is one of the scarier dungeons. You know, you've got torture equipment in the corners. I'm not sure why it's textured. I feel like it's... Why is the lighting so good in here? I feel like something changed in here. But, you know, torture devices in the corner, skulls. Honestly, this place is much more underwhelming than the first time I was here. There's definitely a leak in the ceiling, so infrastructure is a bit of a problem. But overall, it's a fairly solid structure. A leak in the ceiling isn't great. Escaping looks pretty tough, though, because I think this just leads right into the barracks. Hold on, there's a guard right in front of me. Okay, convenient guard pads. So you can reload your quick save when, even though you have a... No, 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 you... Uh... There we go. Okay. So you get your key. You're able to jump out. Oh my god, I haven't been caught. Should I go hide in the other cell? Yes. All right, we're going to be able to get out of here clean. We need that guard to go on their path again. Cannot wait when enemies are nearby. Okay, they're going to go on their path. Let them do their thing. And then we'll jump into this one. Who? right when the guard turns around. I guess that's a positive to the Windhelm Jail. Yeah, you can change rooms if you don't like your room. Guard goes on their path again. 
Move. We're out the main door. We're probably going to get caught as we go up this hallway, but I'm okay with that. Nice. Okay, that's it. Now we're done. Damn, I probably could have actually made it out of here, too. Okay, when you leave, more guards. Certainly quite a few. There's the evidence in the corner. Oh, there's a lot of them waking up now. We got to go. Stop, please. They didn't go with the ch uh, the stair strategy. So the guards aren't too competent here. I gotta say, I mean, it is in the castle, which is cool. Whoa, there's a ton of them. All right, guard response is very quick. Yeah, guard response is nothing to mess around with here. I mean, oof. Unless you kind of game the system, they send the entire fucking rebel alliance after you. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. Shame! I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you. Sweet Nerovar. Shane Koo, you are very kind. I appreciate that very much. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a wonderful start to your week on this. Maybe not beautiful, depending on the uh, region you live in, but on this beautiful Monday, April the 3rd of 2023. But Shane, thank you. All right, let me get out of here. Get away from all these guards. Bit of a tough escape. I mean, they, they have guards posted all throughout the escape when you leave all along the road. It's getting kind of hard to rank these places. Okay, we have escaped. Is Riften the last one? Oh, Falkreath. We haven't technically gotten into Falkreath. So hold on. Let's save. Get back over to our... Okay, Windhelm Jail. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Boring. It's just boring. There's nothing that strikes me. I mean, it's a little, a little edgy, but not that much. You know, it's, it's got some torture devices, which is cool. You know, gets you a little, oh, what if that happens to me? But overall, eh, it's just kind of, blech. there's nothing great about it. It's got a puddle. Yeah. Weak infrastructure. Uh, bed is below average, limited space, uh, dumb guards, the guards are really stupid, dumb guards, easy to pickpocket, that's a plus, that's always nice, very quick and very heavy response time, I also just realized I did not collect souvenirs from that prison. I did not collect souvenirs from that prison. Uh, souvenirs. To be determined. I need to go back there and get my souvenirs at a certain point. I never grabbed them. I do still have the key. Yeah, so getting souvenirs should be easy. I just have to go back and grab them. Uh, this one, I mean, every other jail has made me feel something, but the Windhelm jail just hasn't. And if Solitude is the lowest at 4-9, Solitude at least gave me something. Solitude made me feel something. And now looking back on it, I feel I was a little hard on Solitude. Final score for Windhelm Jail is a... Ugh, a woeful 3-7. Oh, 3-7! It looks like I landed right on uh, a couple of other people's guesses. Yeah. <clears throat> it just doesn't make me feel anything. The wall had unique textures and bird statues, 3.8. Are you really trying to negotiate with me over point one? <clears throat> You're, that is true. I did get a concussion from all the guards. Hold on one sec.
Sorry, I missed a phone call. I wasn't sure where it was from. I had to double check. Damn it, that got me all rattled. I thought it, I thought it was something bad at first. Okay. Now we move on to the Riften Jail. I want to say I like the Riften Jail. I mean, we're doing this mission for the Thieves Guild. So I would think we have some advantage here. Who is this guy? Does anybody remember an Aaron in Elder Scrolls? Of course, his name Aaron has to be spelled like an Elder Scrolls Aaron would be spelled. Calm down, Aaron. All right. He thinks I look like drywall. That's why he's so confident he can win this fight. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? I guess you're smart. All right, let's go to Joe. Ooh, whoa! Hey, yo! Hold on a damn second. Wow. <clears throat> I mean, wow. First impression, stunning. Chandeliers, woodwork, stable. I mean, even the brick looks sort of clean. Stone, it's more stone than it is brick. Look, we have decoration on the wall, pure wolfskin, flayed out. A bed, standing, off the ground. I mean, granted, it is made of hay. We, we have a pillow here. A regu We have a headboard. We have a shit bucket. We have our own dresser with a change of clothes. We have a table. We can eat on the table. There's lighting in the corner. We even have a secondary basket for storage. Look, I find extra cheese. I can put the cheese in the basket. Not a lot of jails you can put cheese in a basket in, let me tell you that much. Now, biased, of course, because this town is ran by criminals, so that probably explains why the jail is so spacious. But wow, look at all that room. For one cell, everyone in here being treated like royalty. She's got bread, she has booze, she has wine. Everything your heart could imagine. Now this dickhead, okay, this is a little ridiculous. I'm not a big fan of this, I don't like it. I don't like that we have a tiered system in the jail. That just feels wrong. We should bring him down a level, or at least, you know, take some of the fine silverware he has and pass it along to the other prisoners. Or maybe that rug, split it into fourths. I would like some rug. Let me take some of your rug. Okay, you did nothing to earn that other than commit crimes. I mean, he's making out like a king down here. He's got bread and, I mean, like he's ran a couple of errands. Beer and wine. Absolutely 12 out of 10, this is the best jail. You want to go, if you're going to jail, you want to go to this jail. This is the jail that you want to be in. That was, that was amazing. That was just too good. So how about the escape? Oh, wait, hold on, I need souvenirs. I'll take a plate. I will take a complete change of clothes. Whoops. You have committed crimes against I guess you're Don't worry, not gonna fuck up the lockpick this time. Why can I never get it first try? It's driving me nuts. It's it's fifty-two percent chance. Grab the fucking key. Grab it! Just grab it! It's right you're right there. Grab the key. This game drives me up a fucking wall sometimes. Whoop, you didn't she you sheathed too early. Order of the yard. Stop right. I guess you See, and then he gets to get a free hit in. What is that crap? That old woman who runs the orphanage has been murdered. Stop looking at me! Didn't Turn around! Out of there. 
Thank you. All I needed you to do. I appreciate it. Okay, we're gonna take that. Give me my souvenirs. Two pairs of shoes. And some cheese. I have been caught. But can I just free everyone? Can we let everybody else out of jail? Oh my god, yes. Prison breaks are viable here. Can't open that one. Okay, where are my things? Evidence? I'm gonna get cornered here and it's gonna be a little bit tough. There's the belongings. We need the evidence chest as well. Got it. I went the wrong way. Dodged. Easy. Okay, now I'm right back to where I started. Ah, fuck. It just goes right back out into the main city, but it's two guards, not a very hard escape. When you leave, though, it gets a bit more intense. Should we go say hi to all 19 orphans that still are there? <laughs> all, all of them that are in there? There's an escape route in there. I mean, I saw a couple people mention it, and I kind of looked around for it, but... In the wall? Okay, well then I'll go back. Relax. Like, in the jail? Oh my god! How the hell did I not know that? Okay, well for normal escapes... I would have gone the other way. Okay, I'm taking the shoes, I'm taking the cheese, and uh, I'll catch y'all later. I'm gonna be honest, I never knew that that was there. And a potion. We got shoes, we got a potion, we got cheese. Convenient little escape route. Can you take it every single time? Ow. Hold on. So you can only use it one time. I mean, the standard escape still isn't very hard. I probably missed getting all my stuff back, didn't I? I can get my belongings, but I can't get... Unless there's another window. Yeah, I can't get the other one back. The one that has the evidence. Are they actually coming after me? Oh, I think they found me. <laughs> we'll have to just run back in the regular way. So yeah, you'll have to, if you want to go get out of here, man. That's so fucking lame. Come on, I made my cool escape. That's so lame. Min Sam, how are you? Thank you very much for four months. That is unbelievably lame that they found me. I'm going back for my stuff. Um, but all things considered with this jail, man, what a great first impression. It doesn't get much better than that. There's just so much going on here that's good. It's comfortable, it's cozy. It's not that hard to escape from. Even if you go the regular route, get the fuck out of the way. God damn, this quest is starting to piss me off now. 
starting to get on my nerves. Like, let me through the door. By order of the arms, Skyrim has no use for your kind. Rude. All right, we're going to get out of here nice and easy. Limited effort. Guys, I... There's been, like, probably 20 people now that have mentioned it. We are going to do Raven Rock. I, there is, there is, I have a list right here. With all of them on there. <laughs> We're gonna be okay. We'll get there. I, I, I got you. I'm an idiot. I'm an ididiot. But don't worry. Whoa, we're, we're getting there. We only have, uh, I think, Falkreath and Ravenrock. I think those are the last two. We'll be all right. Although I am very bad at remembering things. And almost always, whenever there's something obvious right in front of me that I'm missing, it just happens to be in a moment where I'm totally locked in and I can't see chat uh, <laughs> yelling at my dumb ass to do it like the escape we had right there. We should be free. We'll retroactively do our scoring. Okay, the guards here aren't trying to kill me immediately. Let's score. Let's score. Riften Jail. All right, very few negatives, very few negatives. One time automatic free exit. Spacious vibes. What else is there to say? It's got it's got everything every other prison has and more. It really does. Souvenirs. We got shoes, potion, and cheese. Uh, this one's easy, and I barely even have to think about it. Final score, 9-1. Riften is the best. Riften is the best jail, and it's going to win by a long shot. 9-1. 9-1. Nine one. All right. We got any problems with nine one? Nine point nine. Got to save the ten just in case. No, well, no, none of them will be a ten, right? It's still jail. It's still it, it, it's still you know punishment. And it's yeah, it's in a warm climate too. It's warm down by Rifton. That's an easy one for me. 9.1. Okay, Falkreath. Hopefully this one's not on as much bullshit as it was last time. I know a little bit about what we're going to encounter here. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. I guess you... I have a feeling this is going to be... Yep. Oh, man, what a cookie cutter layout, but it has a rug in the middle of the floor. This jail has a fucking rug. That's right, fucker. Buckle the fuck up. There's a. F I can't swear that much. <laughs> I'll get. I'll get in trouble. VOD channel viewers will get age restricted. I can't do that to them. But there is a rug and a table sconce. It's got bread, a bucket. Again, decent, but not bad. But hey, at least they didn't sprinkle around hay and pretend that it does something here. But I mean, this is the same layout. This is the exact same jail as Dawnstar and uh, Morthal. But I have a crush on Morthal's Jarl. Okay. Well, let's break out of here. Well, hold on. Let me get my bread room salt pile there those are my souvenirs my souvenir game has been lacking but we've almost gone through all the jails and I'm kind of ready to finish this okay I think the guard might 
Okay, the guard is in fact upset with us, but that's okay because we're gonna murder him. I don't think anyone hears this. Okay, so guard is dead. Thank you, sir. Give me your key. We get all of our stuff back. There is, yes. Okay, so the jail does have this, which is cool. It does have a werewolf. Which is awesome. Need something? What do you mean, need something? Come to gawk at the monster. Precisely. No, no, no. Actually, that is the only reason I'm here. Is so that we can all ogle at you. The little girl is dead because of me. Believe me, it wasn't anything I ever intended to do. I just lost control. I tried to tell them, but none of them believed me. It's all on account of this blasted dream. We're done talking here. I saved children, okay? You killed one. We are not the same. I might be a bad person, but you killed a kid. I still haven't done that. Oh, I should be sneaking. Whoops. All right. Well, now let's see what the escape ride is like here. Staircase isn't filled with guards. That's what Dawnstar was like. Gonna be a guard right there, but I mean, screw it. We're home for... No sh... What? No way. Oh my gosh. Is Falkreath gonna come for the upset? We're out. That easy. We're out. They really don't give a shit. <laughs> That's so easy. Okay. Wow. I mean, that could be the upset of the day. When you talk about the Woodland Tribunal of Dawnstar, Falkreath, and Morthal, right? They, they were sort of, we'll call them Woodland laid out prisons. They're all three kind of on that Woodland preset. So when we compare those three, we have now on our list, we have... Uh, we gotta scroll up a little bit. Dawnstar was a 5-8. Morthal, a 7-1. In order to make this work, Morthal is not higher than a 7-1. It's not higher than a 7-1. But I think it's lower than Falkreath. I think it's lower than Falkreath. But hold on. Let's go through Falkreath. Falkreath was a really quick one. Falkreath. You know, in Falkreath, we had same layout as Morthal and Dawnstar, but with the werewolf slash child killer. Uh, free exit. Free exit. I, uh, this, again, this is my lived experience, how I experienced these jails. That was a joke. We got out scot-free, which is extra points. Extra points if we can just walk out. The guards don't care. Guards do not care at all. Good... No, I'll say fine. No, that's not the right word. Passable to okay decor slash vibes. The vibes aren't amazing there. They're not, they're certainly not bad. So we'll go souvenirs. Who cares at this point? Uh... And for a final score, 7-1. Falkreath claims 7-1. Morthal, you drop down to a 6-8. And Dawnstar falls from 5-8 to 5-6. It was an upset that I did not see coming. And I know I have a huge crush on Jarl Idgrad Ravencrone. 
love you but unfortunately i have to be objective here i have to be objective i am i, I gotta be honest i gotta be sure seven seven that's too high i think a seven seven is way too high for the the third and and this makes me want to rank them all down as a whole I mean, they're carbon copies of the others. Like, they were ordered out of one of those catalogs that you would get a house in in the 1800s, right? Like, Arthur Morgan was just going through and looking for the cookie-cutter house. Or I guess that was John Marston who built a house. That's that's how all three of those were built. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it again when we get to the end, because I think we only have one more left. Let me double-check the whole list, actually. Let's see. We've done... Uh... We've been to Dawnstar, Falkreath, Morthal, Riften, Windhelm. Yep, okay, Raven Rock is the last one. No, we're not we're not doing Bruma. Uh we'll just do the vanilla. Even though I count beyond Skyrim Bruma as vanilla, we'll just do the main uh, vanilla special edition ones. All right, last one is in Raven Rock. I've been to this jail very briefly. And I want to say it's pretty hard to get out of. What should I go to jail for? I'm getting real creative with it right now. Right then. Off to the bulwark with you. The Bulwark. Okay, I mean, it's a decent nickname. The Bulwark. Not a... Hello, hello. Whoa, whoa, hello. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this the... Damn! We got 30 foot tall ceilings, a fireplace, an escape route, extra wood for burning, booze, food. We have a bed that's risen. I mean, fairly clean stone. This isn't just put together shoddily. I mean, this is really good work. There's a lot of love and care. We have a chair if we just want to, you know, chill out and sit. Ladies and gents, this might be the upset of the century. I mean... I didn't have a fireplace in Riften. I didn't have a fireplace in Riften. I didn't have booze in Riften. I didn't get it. The other people did. But I didn't. Rug here, rug there. Two rugs. Didn't have a rug in Riften, I don't think. Didn't have booze or ashyams or books. Look, Bones! Everybody remembers Bones. It was a really popular show. Granted, we only have the first two seasons, but... Cooked meal, wine. Let's see what this escape route looks like. And this is a built-in, repeatable escape route. I... I'm in disbelief. Okay, let's see where this goes. Covered in sand, cool tunnels. Cold cinder cave. Okay, so there might be a little dungeon we have to go through. I don't have any of my stuff. Getting my stuff back shouldn't be too hard though. Punch a skeever. This is not a part of the escape route. Is this not the most beautiful prison escape route ever? It's gorgeous. Look, they made Halo Infinite's map before Halo Infinite was even concepted. Concepted? Con 
Fuck, how do I just use words that don't exist? That was a funny comparison and I just fumbled it at the goal line. <laughs> I do that shit all the time. It even has an alternate route. I don't think I've ever been in here. This place is huge. Oh, ash spawns. Okay, so there are bad guys in here. There's a giant friggin' rewards chest. This is the only jail that pays you to be a part of it. Oh, okay, time to go. Oh, time to leave. We've upset the prisoners of the sand. Time to go. I mean, a jail cell that is better than every single one we've seen before in terms of comfort and amenities provided. It's got everything. It has every single amenity that each jail cell before it had, but better. An awesome escape route, repeatable escape route that can be used multiple times, gorgeous visuals. I mean, I feel bad though. What was that, in, what was that Netch family doing underground? Are they okay? Are they gonna survive? How long have they been there? What are they doing underground? I'm interested. I want to know the lore behind that Netch family. Um, but that's it. That's all the jails. We've gone through them all. We've completed them all. I'm going to need a couple of seconds here, chat, to get the actual tier list ready so we can build out an official Skyrim jails tier list. Let me just close out of my game real quick. I meant to switch scenes right before I did that. Um... And of course, get our last reference slide done. Solstheim, or Raven Rock. Raven Rock, the Bulwark. Pros, uh, cool nickname. Cool nickname, Cozy. Thank you, kind sir. Hey, Jube. Spacious, hello, hi, I missed that. Who is that? Moon Sugar, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, cool nickname, cozy, spacious, all amenities. All of them. Books, booze, food, rugs. Top tier bed. Easy escape route. Netches. Beautiful room. Uh, this is easy. This is an automatic one. Final score. It's no contest. This is by far the best. This is the only S tier on the entire list. The best prison in Skyrim by far at a 9.5. Raven Rock, the Bulwark. Saving the best for last. We, I can't believe we saved the best for last. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. Uh, there's just no comparison. It's the best fireplace it's got everything it, it it literally has everything what right what more could you want from jail and it pays you i didn't even include that i didn't even include that treasure chest after the escape it rewards you for escaping the jail it's by far the best one so i need a couple of minutes here chat while i'm Oh, wrong scene. Leave you guys here. Uh, I need to make an actual tier list, which I meant to do before stream and I totally forgot to do it. So I'm gonna make a tier list real quick, which means I have to get some screenshots of the uh, jails in game. which means I have to get a picture of all the Skyrim jails. So give me two seconds because on the UESP, the unofficial Elder Scrolls pages, all the images I try to download will be WebPs, which means I have to change them all into JPEGs, which will take me just a couple of minutes.
Oh my gosh, this one was a JPEG. Yeah, WebP format. The amount of times I've done that or had to change WebPs to JPEGs making a video, disgusting. Oh, we got our first WebP. Yeah, this will take me a sec. I appreciate everybody's patience, and I just appreciate you guys in general for hanging out. I uh, would like to apologize sometimes during runs like this or when we're trying to record and whatnot. I get a little impatient at times or just annoyed and whatnot of either the game not working out as much as I want or, you know, just dumb bullshit and whatnot. But I'm always, always always happy to have people hang out and interact with this my dumb videos and streams it's always webp All right, we got sitting to mine in there. Morthal jail. It's taking me a little bit. Mark, how are you? Good to see you. Oh man, they're all web peas. All right, we got the Morthal Jail. Throw it into the tier list. I've never done an actual tier list. This should be fun. It's really stupid, and it totally works with the dumb videos we do. I hit random song of all my songs and got Skyrim music. Okay, solitude. We're almost there. Do we have the writing supplies in Skyrim? I guess we didn't get an ink well. We'll worry about an ink well later. If we were to rate them based on how well they serve to rehabilitate, uh, I don't know how to rank them based on that. I just know how to base them on my experience with them. Yeah, this sucks. All the pictures I all the pictures I have to download 
send through an image converter, re-download, then I can put them under the tier list. Yeah, we're rating on Pog ability. I almost have them all though, I need three more. I knew I forgot to do this right before the stream as well. Or, or like right when I started the stream, it hit me like, fuck, I forgot to make the tier list. Define pog ability. Pog ability means the ability to pog. It's the ability to create pogs in chat. Okay, two more. All right, one more. That one was a JPEG, not a WebP, thankfully. We're almost there. This is going to be so worth the wait. You must be logged in to create a new template. If it deletes all the images I just uploaded, I will be so upset. I think it just did. It really did so f Oh, you stupid fuck website. Unreal. Hold on. Got to add them all back in now. must upload at least two it i did dude wait hold on hold on i got it i got it this should work this should work and it should be all of them yeah it's all 10 Are we good? Did it work? All right. Okay. Okay. We can finally, we can finally do it. Ace, about damn time. Sorry, that took forever, chat. Okay. We have the tier list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. We've got all ten of the jails here. We got all ten of them. And I can even bring this over and make this another tab. 
or not, but we can still look at it uh, and we can go through the scores that we did give these jails and we can just run through them again. White Run, 6 3. Solitude, 4 9. Sidna, 8 3. Morthal, 6 8. Dawnstar, 5 6. Winterhold Jail, aka The Chill, 8.8. .8. Windhelm Jail, 3 7. That was my least favorite. Riften, 9.1. Falkreath, 7 1. Raven Rock, far and away the best. 9.5 uh, Alright So I think we should probably just start at the top We should probably just start at the top of the entire ranking And I think the only one By far my favorite Easily The Bulwark Raven Rock Number one S tier it's the only one that's going to make it into the S tier By far the only one and Gimli, I agree. I agree. White Run might actually see some upward momentum. I think it's got some mobility to climb the ranks a tad. But I think the bulwark has to be S tier based on how we've been <clears throat> how we've been ranking them all so far. Hello, Bulu, how are you? Uh the chill? I think the chill has to fall into the highest level of A tier. I don't remember exactly what we ranked the others. Did we rank the chill? The chill came in at number two, right? It had to have. Or did we give Rift in a higher score? Yeah, we gave we gave Rift in a higher score than the chill, which I guess makes sense. And I think I still would if given the opportunity to do it again. That's Rift in Jail right here. So if it's closer to it, then it's higher ranked. So we've got the Bulwark number one, Rift in, and then we've got the Chill. I think this is the S and A tier. These three are certainly the best. Absolutely. Thank you, kind sir. Sidna Mine. Do I? Oh gosh, does Sidna Mine land in A tier? Or should sin to mine? Oh, what did I do? What scene are we on? Oh, my bad, my bad. I forgot on that window. It has to be on uh, a different view. That scene is completely wrong. I totally fucked that up. My bad. Uh, is is B too low for sin to mine? Or should it be low A tier? It can be. I feel like Sidna Mine is significant enough to where it should be the star player in whatever tier it's in. So I see I see Sidna Mine as a solid B tier and it should Oh my god, I got it. I got it. Here's how the list is going to go. Okay, we need we're going to add in one more row below. F tier. We're going to give Sidna Mine B tier on its own. Then we're going to take, where's White Run? Which one is, oh, White Run. White Run in C tier. It belongs in C tier. I'm going to take the three cookie cutters. And honestly, they're hard, they're hard to tell apart, apart even from this angle. But Falk Wreath, number one of the cookie cutters. Morthal, number two of the cookie cutters. Dawnstar, number three of the cookie cutters. In D tier as well, below all the cookie cutters is Solitude. And then in F tier, bam, we got Windhelm. Because I think we need to, we need to emphasize that with these three, there is a large gap. And then there's all of these kind of fighting for position. I respect a lot about what Falkreath and all these were doing, and maybe the score I gave it didn't reflect, but Whiterun, what seemed to be the basic prison option in Whiterun, it started to get a lot of mobility and a lot of momentum moving forward, and it started to climb the ranks a tad, and I think the final reflection of Whiterun starting to climb the ranks has to put it slightly above the cookie cutter nonsense. These all have to come down a tier, because they're all similar. Maybe I'm being harsh to Solitude. I could see I could see somebody taking issue with my ranking of Solitude. 
But this section, I think, is totally, totally fair. D tier is all drunk tanks. It kind of is. That's what they all look Thank like. You kind sir. Cannot believe it's been three months already, lol. Sweet Potato, thank you so much for the tier one, and thank you for the last three months. Mox Gray, I'm sorry I missed it, but thank you for the tier one. I really appreciate that. Let me check the alerts just to make sure I haven't missed anything. I, I think I have for sure, because I was doing a whole lot of talking. Let me just go through, um, because I can filter them out. Moon Chicker, I did get that one. I don't know if I got that one, but Minced Ham, thank you so much for the Prime. I'm sorry I missed that. Ash B. Hall, this was an hour ago and I missed it. But thank you so much for the Prime. Gap Top, Gap Top Lel, you gave me a thought. You gave a thousand bits earlier and I really appreciate that. I remember calling it out and I remember saying anything, but I'm thanking you again right now. Um, okay. So we're done here. Quest complete. Did I get the inkwell? I mean, are we gonna are we gonna log back into the game to grab an inkwell? We came here and we got done what we needed to do. I don't think that the thieves guild is gonna complain anymore. All right, I'm not fetch questin. The questin is complete on that quest. I need to close out a lot of my internet tabs though. I have a ton of them. Too many. Okay, here's the user submitted quest. Okay, I'll come back to the quest. So there's one more quest that we're going to do, and we're going to do it today because we got done in decent time. And it's really stupid. It's really dumb. I don't know how long it's going to take. Thank you, kind sir. Let me see. Is it nice content working here? Hold on. It doesn't show that in chat, but thank you so much. Random Hunter. Is that what that said? I'm so sorry. Usually I see those alerts in chat. I don't even think Twitch shows them. I need to fix that, but I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, for some reason, this scene doesn't show the same uh, window as it should have been. Uh, but this one is easy. It was suggested by Goat Unicorn. And the entire quest is to build a fort out of dropped items and it, it must have a roof and we must fit inside of it. I don't think it's possible, but I, we're going to try it. I just think it'll be fun to try for the video. Why not? See if it works. I have a strategy. We're going to use hay bales. We're going to try and build it with hay bales. I think I know what we have to do and I think it could work. I'm not going out to collect all these items individually. By the way, we're using console commands and we're just going to give ourselves the stuff and try to like stack it all together. Dwemer struts. I mean, yeah, true. This whole thing has been for shits and giggles. Well, we have to find a flat plot of land first. You missed Raven Rock? We did the entire tier list. We're moving on from the tier list. But Raven Rock was S tier. It was the number one. She be strutting till I dwemer. <laughs> she strutting my dwemer till I falk wreath. Should I tweet that right now? Do you think it would get a lot of likes? <laughs> if it doesn't. The one with the bush? Which one had a bush? I, I kept seeing people talk about a bush. No, but do it anyway. No, I can't be having it bomb now, guys. I take my Twitter analytics really seriously. I joke, but there has been one or two times where after I posted something, I was like, actually, that was lame. I'm going to delete this. I'm getting this off the internet right now so people start, you know, so people don't start thinking I'm not funny. Ooh. 
Is it cheating if I use some of the supporting structure of this house? I feel like it would be. Get rid of the rain. We need a good flat plot of land. This looks nice. Yeah, I think this works. Yeah, the quest is to make a house out of items. All the hay piles are under furniture. I don't know why though. How do we get hay? Or what's it called? Is it called straw? No? If it's not Elder Scrolls related, don't even bother tweeting it. I thought it was hay bale. I can only search under one word though. And bale doesn't pop anything up. It's called straw. That's what I thought. Ah, there we go. Okay, it worked. Uh, oh, I don't want that many. Okay. Okay, this is going to be really hard, isn't it? Nearly impossible. I'm going to have to have walking speed on the whole time. But like, they already are starting to build, like, an angle where I just don't think they'll be stackable. But straw has to be the best option towards stacking objects. What if we do it like bricks? We offset them. We go three straw. No. Oh man, they're so bouncy. They're like way too bouncy. They go under the ground a little bit. They're not considerate. I think we just need to make a huge pile of them. A massive pile of straw. This could be our starting base. Let's just get them all in one little spot here. Damn, I mean, they seemed like the perfect building block item. See, we can't have that. Having one move that much just by touching the other straw, it just collapsed the whole pile. If anybody asks what we're doing right now, Tell them something completely different. Only give people wrong answers if they ever ask what we're doing. <laughs> we're not building a house. We're, uh, uh, we're creating a new straw god. Okay, saturation, chill. Damn. Shit's bright. What other items could be used? Like, are there any items that are just blocks? Stone? With the, with the Hearthfire uh, expansion? Aren't there stone blocks? Help stone. Stone beds, stone chairs. Can't find any miscellaneous items though. Quarried stone. Oh, it's clumpy.
Still, let's just see what it looks like. Quarried stone. Ah, uh, you're right. It's lumpy. I was thinking it would be much bigger. Okay, quarried stone won't work. Maybe there's an item we can craft. Solid Dwemer metal. I feel like it's not big enough. I need something kind of big. No. I just need to walk around town and get some inspiration. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. Like, let's just look at items and try to see. Pot. Bowl. This might not be too bad. Like upside down. It just won't be very stable. Like if I wanted to put something on top of this bowl. The bowl's moving. See? Want to stand up these boots? It's not happening. Cheese isn't bad. If I had full cheese wheels, it's not terrible. So for the roof, I was going to use uh, staves, staves. I was going to put a bunch of like electric staffs, go across the top with them. Although if I have a staff... Alright, we'll take this ebony staff, for example. If I drop it, if I pick it up, does it go horizontal? No, it goes vertical. So in order to place it on the roof, I'd have to swing this thing around and try to lay it down with force. The odds of me knocking over whatever structure I've built are so insanely high. There's almost no chance of it working. But like this kind of cheese makes a somewhat decent base in order to build it high enough for me to survive in it's got to be about all right i'm gonna try it with cheese although i think we might want to build it's got to be really flat oh right here we could probably build our house right here this looks flat enough more than enough room Start it like this. Just like this. That's the problem though with this. We move one, we move them all. Get the. F She's actually taking my cheese! You accidentally mislaid this, dear. She took my cheese. No, get the get out of here. Leave. You're gone. Get out. Of, don't don't no. This is my foundation in my house. Silence. Leave this dimension. <laughs> I believe you may have left this here. No. Ty Pennington is back. All right. We're not doing home makeovers anymore. We're doing, well, I guess this is this is a home construction. We're building it from stretch. Ah, get back here. See, she already fucked up my mojo.
Wow. Didn't even have to move that one into place. I'm a little bit nervous though. The cheese seems to want to always lean one direction. So if I'm walking in from here. That's certainly wide enough to walk in. Okay. I will be quick saving quite a lot as I go through this. Sorry, Chad, I'm a little locked in right now. I'm just a little bit too tall <laughs> to walk under the gate, to walk under my roof. I'm just a tiny bit too tall. But I think that the staff could work. Now the problem is going to be getting cheese on top of cheese. It looks like it'll kind of level itself out, though. placement yeah the cheese wheels are just the best they naturally fall into a decent you know orientation very flat like it's just it's it's like it was meant to be that one just stuck there Easy. Careful. I got this. Nice. Another one. Bring it over this way. Ooh, don't like that. I don't like that adjustment. Let's bring it back. Everybody get in line. It's all good. Now, I know that quick saving won't do anything because when I quick load, much like the interior design quest, the cheese wheels will probably explode and go everywhere as soon as I load my save. So I probably only have one chance at this. Yeah, this is going to take a little bit. 
I don't know why I set this up like this, though, where I'm forced to put one in between two of them. We can't be setting ourselves up like that. Bad throw. That's just, come on, that's bad. That's really bad contract work. There you go. Check our dimensions again. Oh, I mean, with a roof, I certainly fit in here. Let's do one more layer. How many cheese wheels is it per layer? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So by the time I'm done, this will be 33 cheese wheels in total stacked in an orderly fashion. I don't like this one. It's like the Leaning Tower of Cheesa. Oh, it, it must have heard my insult because it decided to correct itself. It's an intelligent machine learning cheese based tower. Careful. Too much movement. Get back in line, soldier. Nice. Beautiful. We're not too bad. This one's a little bit eh, shaky, but it should work. Straighten out, flatten, layer down. Automatic. That was such a good lay. Eyeball it. Eye it down careful. Adjust for the... Nice. There was a little bit of shaking there. The foundation wasn't as solid on that one. Might have to take a look over at 5E. Make sure that they're following the procedures. Whoa, hey, mind company policy now. Way too eager. That's ridiculous. That's such bad form. You're lucky it's passable. It would barely get past code review like that. Easy, easy. Come on, guys. You're getting lackadaisical. Everyone's taking their job lightly. This isn't a joke. <sighs> Don't give me attitude like that. Stop! What is that move? Where did you learn this from? Hmm? Just because your friends think it's cool doesn't mean it is. What a... What a beautiful cheese brick. Okay, now getting up to the fourth level, I think things are going to get a little sketchy over here. Fourth level could be tough. Because uh, this is where the little tiny mistakes we've made along the way will start to compound themselves. Very nice. Very nice. That was like a golf swing. Butter. Easy. Easy peasy. More cheese. I'm in a good little rhythm right now, though. I really want to be able to do it with the full-sized character. I don't want to have to resort to shrinking the character scale. How many cheese levels will I need? Four. 
Probably eight. I probably need to build two times. <laughs> After I build this next level, I probably have to do it again, which might be impossible. Nice. So what do you do for a living? Um, I stack virtual cheese. Yes, uh, I build homes out of cheese in an imaginary fantasy world. The game is about cheese? No, no, not, not really. What I do is about cheese, I guess. That's all right, this'll edit into a fun montage of speed cheese building. It's gonna be kind of satisfying to watch this in like 1000 times speed to see the cheese tower be built. I should have taken a picture, a screenshot from the same angle of the cheese tower at every phase. But no, okay, this corner is bothering me. Ooh. Really good. It's turning out really well. Oh, God. Can we get a fifth level of cheese? Let's do it. Okay. Probably have to do, yeah, three or four layers of cheese. Cheese is stacked. Very good. Very good. Look at it go. I mean, it looks pretty, like, aside from, you know, a few holes in the wall, it looks really solid. I need to stop accepting challenges in this game based off of its physics, though. If this tower collapses, we're ending the challenge and I'm putting it in the video. And we'll go with three out of five failed challenges. Very nice. What I don't want to do is put one on from a high level and then sort of the weight and the bounciness of it landing really takes the tower and, you know, topples it. But I'm not noticing a whole lot of wobbling. When I throw a new piece of cheese on, it doesn't seem like the tower it's going onto is affected all that much. All right, fine. I can have one cheese snack. The beauty of this is that if there's a really bad storm and you're afraid you might lose your house in the storm, you could just eat the entire house before the storm will ever hit or melt it into a nice fondue. I mean, that's just beautiful. No shake. We're on level five and there's still limited shake every time we set down a piece of cheese. I'm just worried that the game's gonna crash. Whew. 
Whoa, there's an invisible wall here somewhere. There's an invisible wall right by me. Something that the cheese kind of wants to clip onto. Done. Level 5 complete. I'm not even going to think twice about it. We're just going to move into level 6. We seem to have really good momentum here. We're moving at a good pace. I think I can get two more levels on there. I think I can take it to level 7. I don't know about 8. It seems like 8 is going to be the magic number, though, for our character's height. Lots of wobbling, but not enough for me to be that concerned. Although, as soon as I start to get concerned, it's probably when this whole experiment dies. Another layer of cheese. Can he place it? No, he's going to audible and pull off. It was probably a good call. Oh, and he corrects with just a beautiful lay of the cheese. Incredible. Can barely even see the spaces between them. They're like a fine set of teeth. Raise the thin margins of error. Whew. We're doing all right. Too far, lift and a correction. Can he find it? He has, he's found it. Again, this incredible feat of endurance and patience continues. Oh, just fantastic. I mean, we shouldn't be surprised at this point, but... Hey, a little bit too much speed. Okay. Okay, no. Back it up. Bring it down. Forward. Type. Little tap. I don't like it. I don't like it. That was a risky lift. So the lift is a little risky because... Depending on the angle of the cheese, like, let's say that the cheese was angled like this. Like, I'm looking at the cheese, and it's angled this way, going down. When I grab it, the cheese is going to automatically try and pull towards me and level out. So if I have it at a weird angle, and I try to lift it up the top level of cheese, it's possible I get it at an angle where it pulls towards me and pulls the tower with it. Okay, we have cheese making up its own mind. I'm so fucking locked in right now. Woo! That was beautiful. This second one on the southern wall is the most impressive tower. It's wobbling right now, though. I'm not a fan of that wobble, but that is just gorgeous. This one's problematic. Oh, God. Oh, man, I almost lost it. Too much, too much, too much wobble. This one's out of control. Oh, okay. If I crouch, will I get under? Uh, I don't know if I'll get under. Man, it's so close. It's so close. It probably needs two more levels of cheese. Shall we keep going up? Let's keep going up. Let's build it. I'm probably not going to be able to put a roof on it anyway, so we might as well see how far we can go.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is row seven. I did say before that I thought eight would probably be what we need, and it looks like eight is the number. I think I can definitely build two more layers of cheese. I can't quit now. We're getting there. It's all right. All that cheese movement where it looks like it's moving on its own. That's just standard cheese physics. I'd explain it to you all, but you'll need a degree in mysticism. There we go. Had to fix that one. Breathe. It's like disarming a bomb, but far less impressive. Nice. It'd be funny if there was somebody watching the stream right now who actually has disarmed a bomb. Like, wow, this is really impressive. I've never done anything as cool as stack cheese like that. We got any bomb defusal specialists in chat? Shout out to all the bomb defusal specialists in chat. Oh my god, they're swaying. They're swaying. I don't like it. Oh man, it's actually just angled. It's going backwards the more we build up. Thank you, kind sir. You'd need a bomb defusal specialist after eating that much cheese. You would. They'd have to get all up in there and take a look at the damage. Cut the red wire. No, the red wire! Row seven is complete. Look at this one. This one actually looks like a person, right? Can't you kind of see it? The way it goes up. This is where their torso starts. There's their head. This is their little alien body. Oh, we can fit. This is it. We fit. We're not clearing it. Can we get under? Yeah, I think we can get under it. Or right, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for the roof. Okay, I want... Uh... We're going to go with the Staff of Mage Light. It doesn't have a ton of spin to it. It's going to naturally orient itself to go vertical. So we just we just have to come up with a good strategy of laying it on top of the cheese. But if we lift up, we can't really rotate it. Running around doesn't help a whole lot.
it's just hard to get it horizontal like we want so we would go like this and then it'll tap the cheese it'll this is too much lay out go back to being flat Holy dick. Get up. All right, we got one mage light secured on the target. Second staff of mage light coming in now. Going to be nice and slow, but there's an invisible hitbox on the cheese. The invisible cheese hitbox might save the day. I don't know if you guys are seeing that the way I am, but as we straighten this bad boy out, as we lay it down, you'll notice it starts to orient itself and lay flat as we go down this way right you see that as it gets towards the cheese so bam we'll just okay, we are not we're not going to be doing that that was close No, no, no. <laughs> oh, we had it. We had it. Well, you know what? Fuck the haters. You know what I say? I say that this little staff. No, don't, don't knock down the other wall, please. Please, no, no, wait, 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 wait. If I, no, stop. Everyone, please. You can't be doing this to me. We, we, we're doing this the wrong... Okay, this one pile of cheese is my home. If you think about it, I'm fully surrounded by... four walls of... God damn it. I really stink at these challenges. Uh... What happens if I quick... Yep. See, I quick load and the wall fucking dies. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't think it's possible to build a whole house with uh, actual loose objects in the game. But it was worth trying. What about a little two cheese wheel high house for the bit? Well, actually, this little corner is useless. If you think about it. That little corner is not needed. But look, look, it works. There, there, there's a roof over my head. You know what? The, the sky is my roof. Would a mammoth pelt actually work? I don't think there are mammoth pelts.
Oh, fucker. Player dot place at me. I had the whole thing typed in and hit the wrong damn button. 5EF6C. Yeah, see, the bear pelt's not big enough. It's also probably really heavy. I bet if I lay it on top of the cheese. If I lay it on top of the cheese. I guess it could work. But I should have I should have built the house like two cheese wide. <laughs> I probably can you set scale the pelt? No, I don't think you can. I wish. Maybe I got to drop it again. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Yeah, I can't set scale the pelt. Werewolf? I don't know if there's a werewolf pelt, is there? Oh, there is. Werewolf pelt? It's pretty big. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We might be in business here. Hear me out. We got to go corner to corner. Werewolf pelt is on the corner. That means this little corner has a roof. And by rule, if I am small enough. To be underneath the pelt. No, 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 don't hit the pelt. Why does my hitbox have to hit the pelt? Oh, my hitbox still hits it all and knocks it over. <laughs> Damn it. Ah. Uh. What if you hold the pelt above your head? I think I just have to accept a loss on this one. It's going to be too hard. If I had, you know, 20 hours to dedicate to cheese stacking, maybe. But it is a really funny visual, right? Like, for fuck's sake. Oh, caps lock is on. There we go. Sorry, I'm, I, I yell at the console every single time I can't get it to work. Like, like, it's a really funny visual for sure. Like right here. That's a pretty funny shot. It is a cheese house. But I just can't resolve the player's hitbox. We gave it a fair shot. Ha! <laughs> All of mine, all of the cheese is now mine. This is my city, my town, my people. All right, that was underwhelming and disappointing, but it is what it is. It worked out for the most part. We had fun while going on these adventures together. Did we not chat? I enjoyed it. I had fun. Did you have fun? I did. What matters, the only thing that matters is if I had fun because, uh, well, if, if I have fun, then usually the video recording turns out a little bit better. But that was really fun. That experience was definitely unique. Uh, if people do enjoy this video, if people like how it turns out and they would like to do a, to, uh, do more of it, then I'm absolutely down. Uh, really, you know, I'll kind of put this video out see if people enjoy it and what we did and if they want to do it again 
I'll either make a new community post or dive back into that same thread from before. Uh, Space Llama, I think I forgot to thank you, but I do remember your message. But thank you for the Prime. That was the last one I missed. Let's uh, send today's stream over to somebody who is currently streaming. Who is streaming? Snam streaming. Kiwo streaming. Uh, although I'm going to send you over. Oh, I'm so glad they're live right now. Uh, I'm going to send you over to Thomas Middleditch. They are currently playing uh, Red Dead. They're doing Red Dead roleplay. If you're not sure who Thomas Middleditch is, Thomas Middleditch is the uh, lead actor in Silicon Valley. It's a small little indie program. Not sure if anyone's ever heard of the show before. Uh, but they've been doing a ton of Red Dead streaming, which I just think is super cool. Uh, he's also been doing, you know, just genuine YouTube uploads for fun. But remember when you go over there to be kind, be respectful. Um, it's a role play stream, so, you know, don't like spam the chat over and over. It's, it's pretty cool. And he is, you know, like an actor actor. So when he's doing it, he's pretty, he's pretty dedicated to the character. Also watch Silicon Valley. It's a great show. Uh, thank you all again. Appreciate it. I'm going to send you over there. Have a good week. I'll probably see you again on Wednesday, but I want to get ahead on this video. So I'll see you soon.